Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video on my playthrough of The Rise of Ronin. Now I was very lucky to have an early advanced copy of this for a review and I thought I would make a few videos on how my gameplay went. Full disclosure, it was difficult. Um, but with the magic of editing, I have tried to make myself a competent Ronin. Um, so yes, this is the opening cinematic before we get to choose the different settings of the game. Graphically, beautiful. So, just a little bit about the storyline. Um, with Rise of the Ronin, you embark on an epic journey across war-torn 19th century Japan in this combat-focused open-world action RPG from the veteran studio behind Ninja Gaiden. So we are in Japan 1863. After three centuries of this current shogunate's reign, the black ships of the West descend upon the nation's borders and the country falls into a state of turmoil. Amidst the chaos of war, disease and political unrest, a nameless warrior forges their own path, holding the very fate of Japan in their hands. So yes, this is going to be a brand new epic samurai action adventure. As you can see, it's going to be a bit violent. There's going to be guns. Lots of uh, blue steel Zoolander faces. Um, but very good combat all mixed in. Rise of the Ronin. So that's the opening cinematic. And here we have the opening screen. We are going to go with new game. So there's three modes, Dawn, Dusk and Twilight. I would presume easy, medium and um, difficult. And we are going to probably stick to our bets of Dusk. So we're going to go with medium. This is just a disclaimer that says that anything, you know, these are based on factual people, but, you know, with poetic license involved. And if there are cutscenes, I am going to be quiet and let everyone just kind of sit back and enjoy. I will make a comment or two if something juicy happens. But we'll see how this second uh, opening cinematic plays out. It closed its doors to the rest of the world. For a time, the island nation prospered. Oh. Yet despite its apparent tranquility, conflict brewed beneath the surface. Feudal lords known as Daimyo were kept under strict surveillance. In public, they were loyal. But the coals of discontent were slowly being fanned towards conflagration. Deep in the mountains of Kurosu, weapons were secretly forged in preparation for rebellion. But the Shogun's forces got wind of the plan and took terrible and bloody reprisals. The Veiled Edge. Skilled in both subterfuge and the way of the sword, these nameless assassins were unmatched in their abilities. Under the tutelage of a master, the Bladesmith, they honed their skills in pairs called Blade Twins. Go! <laughs> Separately, formidable. Together, unstoppable. Blade twins are forever tied together by the bonds of fate. Okay. And we're back. We're back in the room and we are doing our character customization. Now, if anyone has any knowledge of my previous character customization games i'd spend about three hours in this so we are going to cut this slightly so that we don't uh, go through every single option but this is the end result which is um, madam m from final fantasy 7 rebirth uh so yeah um a lot of scope for different characters i think 
she probably is is a, is a killing machine though from the offset. I did consider a Freddie Mercury mustache, but again, we're going to try and be a bit more serious in this playthrough, at least my first one. And I'm kind of glad I sped through that one because we have to actually create a second character. Um, I presume like a twin of some sort. So again, just we're going to just quickly go through uh, the couple of hours that I spent meddling around with this and create our two characters. Okay, once that's done, we have to pick our Veiled Edges specialities, so our our origin. So I suppose there's there's different ones to, to choose from. Killer, Breaker, Seducer. Um, lots of different ones that I suppose allows you to do different playstyles. So there must be like dialogue combat that you can kind of like get different unlocks. Um... That does sound fun, but I'd imagine combat is going to be huge in this game. So we're going to go with Breaker. Bit of a balance. She looks like she wouldn't take any prisoners. <laughs> I wonder why we have two characters, but... Listen. Right, so this is the first instance of gameplay. Graphics look well. Uh, okay, select character. So we get to choose between either of them. Follow me. We're going to go with that Madam M. Um, now, we always have to check and see if there's things we can loot. You never know. <laughs> Can't beat up the chickens. Already off to a bad start, I think. <laughs> okay, we can jump. Select a weapon. The two weapons you choose here will be your initial weapons. The weapons best suited to you are determined by your origin. You decide it. So because I'm breakout, I am better with paired swords. I excel in dexterity. So we're going to pick our paired swords. It's best to go with something that suits you. Now we're going to learn combat. Normal attack, advanced attack, charged attack. Okay, we're just going to... There we go. Just going to bash. Now we get to pick a second weapon, actually. Oh. I'm not entirely sure. You take some time to get a feel for it. Ah, yeah, be grand. Still not done yet. He's a little bit impatient, isn't he? You're happy with that, then? All right, let's go. Jesus, that's massive. So sheath on sheath. Not too bad. Training or not, I won't pull my punches. Whew. Oh, he copies my weapons. Get my ass handed to me here. Is this the end boss? Yeah, okay, I, I realize this is a very slow weapon. Let's take his, his stuff. You can hear. Whew. Okay, pretty cool. So we need a little rope dart. Well, you coming or what? Okay, we can't go in that way. Alright, so this is our abilities. So right. Let's rimba up, shall we? Oh, very good. Yeah, so I presume with every different weapon you have different abilities you can unlock. So because we've high dexterity, we're going to use our paired swords. Don't know what I've done there, but... He doesn't seem to really be putting up much of a fight, is he? Let's 
probably just rinse and repeat until this man decides to die. There we go. Let's just take his medicine pill. We'll heal. Very good. We're seeing if there's loot. I don't trust games at the very start. They could have like a chest somewhere to kind of reward nosy players. So we're just going to go through the hedges. No. Oh, we learned to run. So we hold down circle and we can run. <laughs> okay, so the game's telling us what to do yet. Yeah. Very good. Visually very good, isn't it? It's very pretty. Veiled Edge Banner, so these are basically going to be save points. Well, yeah. Beautiful. Time to begin. Oh, Judy Dench. Cross swords and show me all you've done. It's only been 10 minutes, so I can't promise much. Oh, I'm going to be attacking him. So counter sparks, so basically we're just going to be blocking. Yeah, and I suppose there's this, this chi meter that's the red. So when we deplete that, we can do finishing moves. There's one. Oh, okay. Timing is a little bit. Yeah, I need to actually stop attacking them. I need to, I need to actually counter spark. So we're going to clean up that comet a little bit. Probably should wait for the game to uh, tell me what the... Yeah, counter spark chains. So we're going to just be deflecting combos this time. That's fun. So I presume it's kind of like a parade when you kind of miss the first one. Get out of the. Just get out of the. Um, out of the cliff face. Use the counter spark. <laughs> Enemy chi, yeah. So reduce their maximum chi, um, which panics them. I know your every move. You'll have to do better. Okay, and once his chi is depleted, we can do critical hits. <laughs> we can hit him. I thought we were going to rob him there. Yes, you did well. Next, you will fight me. Oh dear. I will face the both of you. <laughs> Come on, Bladesmith. My Blade Twin is doing nothing. Come on. Okay, yeah, the big. The longs, the long weapon is slow, but pretty good. We'll switch back to the pair of swords. And yes, after a lot of trial and error, we do need to counter spark her, uh, which I wasn't really doing to deplete her. So she's nearly down. There we go. My blade twin is still not really helping. Oh, oh there he is. He heard me. It's only going to get better. My combat price is only going to get better. <laughs> Switch to him randomly. Oh, because I died. <laughs> I didn't know you could switch between the two of them. But now I do. 
I'm assigning you a new mission. Oh. The black ships from America are not a hair at a place, I may add. Yokohama. On either of them. Sneak aboard <laughs> and steal the secret message in Commodore Perry's possession. And if the opportunity arises, kill Perry. Understood? Hmm. What secret message? You dare question your master. <laughs> well, if you insist. I presume this is if we had the, the high has made dialogue. Deal with we'd unlock madness. different things. That is reason enough for us to strike. This is the day our clan has long prepared for. When we finally go to war with the Tokugawa. This is an order. Failure is not an option. Your man's hair is immaculate, isn't it? It's like he should have a shampoo sponsorship. Are you ready to head to the black ships? Yeah. Good. Mm. I know you will not let me down. Well, you won't find out about it because I'll be editing all my deaths, but um, I'd say that's a good way to end our first video on Rise of the Ronin. Um, I'm going to put part two up straight away after this one, actually. So if you want to see what happens at the Black Ships, give us a like, a subscribe, drop us a comment what you think of the game so far, of my amazing um, Ronin abilities. And I'll, I'm free to answer any questions people might have about the game so far. And until the next one. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of the Ronin uh, video. This is part two and we are setting sail. Now if you haven't already checked out part one, which was kind of the, the introduction, uh, the story, I will set it for you now. We are Ronin twins. One of us looks like Madame X from Final Fantasy. The other looks like Zoolander with a shampoo sponsorship deal. <sighs> Gotta love the character creation. So, our mission is to infiltrate this ship um, and stop the evil West from meddling in Japan's affairs, essentially. Now, video one, I struggled with basic combat, so taking out an entire ship is going to be utter hilarity. But we'll try, we'll touch the banner, because why not? When, when we're prompted to do something, we'll do it. We'll touch it again by mistake. Yeah, this is off to a great start. Right. I presume we're going to swim. Yeah. <laughs> there is a, an air gauge, so we're actually not going to go Little Mermaid too soon. We'll keep to the surface. Graphics wise, looking very well. So yeah, um, right stick locks onto a target. I presume we have to assassinate these buckles. Hope they don't notice the puff of red hair. And there we go. The first of many. Now, how do we get onto the ship? <laughs> yeah, she can't jump that high. Telling you lads, being a games reviewer and uh, struggling at the most basic of concepts is all part of life's simple pleasures. Definitely can't go through that. Ah, okay, we're going to grapple. <laughs> and uh, my blade twin is, is just as bad as me, so I don't feel as bad. So we're going to climb. GG easy. Yeah, okay, so there's a different lead. There's leaders and followers, so I'd imagine we just have to... We have to beat the leader. We don't have wooden sticks anymore. We have steel. Okay, the, the locking in is a little bit clunky because I'm not really switching enemies and it's kind of doing that for me. That's a bit... That's my excuse anyway. So we're just going to slice. Jesus, their health is insane. So we're just going to dance with these lads for a wee while. You can switch between characters at any stage. Which kind of makes me sad because they're technically the same, but for some reason he's doing a lot more damage than she is. 
would have been cool if you could have like changed them up like if you maybe could have customized them separately from each other he's nearly dead so we're just gonna switch to her there we go the first of many let's raise the banner let's touch the banner <laughs> you get a uh, medicine pay you get medicine pills if you touch the banner so it's always a good it's always a good thing and the reason I'm sighing is because I know for a fact I'm gonna be having to use an awful lot of them Okay, so we're going to just jump down the ladder. So I presume this is just going to be a labyrinth of of different kind of ways of going around the boat and, and offing the officers. So we can assassinate enemies by creeping up on them and then... Approach from the back. Take it slow. Yeah, this should be fine. He didn't seem to die straight away. We'll try with this guy who's seemingly praying in the corner. Yeah. There we go. Bit of bit of blood splatter. And the body just falls into the abyss. <laughs> okay. That's a choice that the bodies don't stay there, but listen. They're not very good soldiers, are they? And up the ladder we go. Level looks quite samey, but I suppose, you know, it is a boat, so. Adding affinities. Okay, so if we counter strike as the bullet hits us, we can um we can basically kind of um add an element to our blade. Yeah, in instead of that, let's just kill him. <laughs> I'm not going to wait for him to, sh to fire bullets at me. I'm just going to... Oh, we got a rifle. Haha. -ha. Come on. Come on, Widowmaker. All my years in playing Overwatch has uh, led to this moment. Yeah. I'm going to jump up here. There's plenty of ways, but the game I don't think is going to let me. <laughs> um, oh, there's a hole in there, is there? Well, hey, hole. <laughs> oh, and there is fall damage, so that was just for demonstration purposes. Good thing we have a banner here that for some reason restores us back to full health. Maybe they put that there in case people like off themselves from that jump. But anyway. So we have two. Uh, using the grappling rope in battle. Okay, so we can actually fling stuff at them. That's pretty cool. Oh. Rifle doesn't do too much damage actually now that I've seen that. Oh, his head's gone. Is it me, or are these a little bit easier? The first few fellas we fought were like, invincible. Oh, it's probably the leaders. One of them's a leader. Okay, twin, get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't do much damage at all. Nice wee switch up there. One thing is the two characters share armor or share ammo, so. Hmm. Again, it would have been nice maybe if they were a little bit separate. We're gonna open this door with the key. Doesn't seem to be much here. Oh, chest. First chest. Yoink. So we've got a saber. Got equipping weapons. Yeah, okay, we kind of know that. Will we equip it? He 
Okay, he's the same one as well. Hmm. Um. Okay. So this isn't technically where we were. This is like a bonus area, which is good. We're being rewarded for exploring. Always good. Precaution of the wind. Who cares about stealth? We're just going to run around the place now. And check these little alcoves. For another chest. We're deadly. So we got a new, we got a new musket. Or a rifle. Happy days. We might actually equip that stuff now. Ho oh, ho, plus 17, okay, yeah. This probably will do a lot more damage. Uh, we can't really change any of that stuff. We don't have any armor. Oh. Did do, no, did do a bit of damage. And up the ladder. Hey girl! <laughs> Off with the head. I'm a bit impressed now with myself that I, I've managed to... Uh, that I'm managing to kill them. Healing elixir. Hmm. Why go upstairs just to see what the crack is? Oh sugar, right, we're at the very start. That was a that was a zoning shot. I presume my, my twin can die. Yeah, her health bar is still there. Which is like, you know the way sometimes you can switch off people and be kind of like, to become invincible or invulnerable. Alright, so we'll heal. Oh yeah, so this is back at the start. So you really could have done a big shortcut if you just took out these guys like we're kind of doing now. We'll see if they drop anything. At the, it's at this point that I will say the game, the combat is quite easy to get into. Like, obviously, there's a bit of but button bashing because you're just kind of doing square. But you can do, like, your abilities. I'm a gamer who doesn't particularly like parrying and blocking and dodging, um, as can be seen from my dwindling health pool. But it's fun. The guns should do more damage, though. Just saying. We only have three bullets, so... They could have done us a turn there. Right, we're, gonna, we're gonna take all your wares, sir. And finally go to the Commodore's cabin. Which is downstairs. But not before raising the banner. And it just seems their inventory goes into storage. So there's a storage system, which is not bad. Because you know they sometimes games penalize you for having, for looting too many things. So the fact that there's an automatic storage is good. We did get a report, which we will read later on. So we're just going to go around the outskirts just in case there are things to loot. Like this lovely chest. Let me just go through his wares. So we've got a silver saber. And some medicine pills. And we have a wee cutscene here. Oh.
This is me controlling them in the cutscene. I'm so uh, skilled. <laughs> See that? The one deflection I'll do all game. As if that would happen. Better to toss this gun and kill you with a sword. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, this is a common mechanic in these games. If there's like a red kind of aura on an attack, you kind of have to not get hit like I did. Oh. Yeah, guns don't really do much, do they? Neither did that, if I'm being honest. Holy Jeebus. Matthew Perry, I'm just realising his name is Matthew Perry. What? <laughs> what was the reason behind that? R.I.P. Matthew. Lads, I'm a bit worried because we're going to go through those medicine pills like there's no tomorrow. Poor Matthew is not our friend. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we're actually getting a bit off him. Maybe this is better. I know I should be blocking these, but it is hard. Oh, she's getting her ass handed to her. Oh my god, am I gonna die? I need to res her. Did that take a pill? Oh dear. Oh! That was unexpected. He's nearly done. Come on, just one more hit. Oh, hey. Oh dear. Come on, secret boss. Blue demon. Jesus. Okay, is that game over? Come on, plot armor. Which of you will die? <gasps> oh, wow. We have to pick which one we're... Oh, okay. We're going to have to go with Madame X. <gasps> Jesus. So, R.I.P. to Shampoo Man. Judy Dench is here with the uh, words of console. Still, my hair is in place. Prim proper. 
What a change of events. Oh no, don't do this to me, game. Don't kill him off and then give us a, give us the backstory. The two of us are one. Hmm, so is he still alive, maybe? Oh, maybe it was all a bad dream. <laughs> I suppose this is a good way to end video two, because um, we've we've been through a lot. But yes, give us a like, a subscribe, um, drop us a comment on what you think the game is like. Um, really enjoying it so far. The best is yet to come. And I'll see you in part three. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of the Ronin video. It has been a bad day in the office. If you've been following my playthrough, you will have realised we've lost our only family member in what seems to be a Sephiroth massacre. Um, yes, we had to say goodbye to Shampoo Man, um, which is very sad. And as it turns out, when we wake up, we realise it's been all a dream. No, <laughs> not really. But yeah, it has been a bad day in the office because when we do come back and come into our senses, and eventually leave our little tent, we realise that our whole world is up in smoke. And uh, realising now it's time to touch the banner. So after a quick save and composing ourselves, we have to realise what to do, which is head to the Bladesmith's location, or as I like to call her, Judy Dench. Now we have some evil Ronin here that we're going to try and... I don't know shoot and miss. They're zoning bullets. It's just to scare them off. I don't want to kill them. <laughs> there we go. We got two down. I keep forgetting to press triangle for those like kind of finishing moves. Blade flash or one immediately after an attack. Um. Okay, so it's like blood, cleaning blood. Nice backflip. This man's the main character. Jesus. Right, okay. We might have the upper hand. Like I say, the combat for me, I'm not really gelling with it too much, but I'm getting better. But yeah, some people are very good at this. I'm just, I've never really kind of enjoyed a Dark Souls game. So, but I am enjoying this, but it's just taking a little bit longer. Oh, we got shuriken. Okay, so this is this is instead of our rifle, which we miss all with all the time anyway. Um, it seems like the ninjas have respawned, which is um, not a welcomed development. Oh. Okay, that, that, that feels very cool and satisfying, just like a wee Naruto jump on a... wonder how accurate they were back in the day with Shuriken. The games make it seem like it was just like auto-hit, like you were using an aimbot. <laughs> right. Not him doing the backflips again. Okay, we really need to actually take a wee pill. See, these guys can't be looted, which is, which is unfortunate. He seems to still be alive, but. One thing, lads, that they do not tell you in the game is that each time you tell, you talk to the banner for like a restock, everyone respawns. So that's why I had to kill all of them on repeat. So that's a bit unfortunate. Game doesn't really tell you that, so if you're realizing why the whole level is respawning again after each save, yeah, it's a bit of a choice. So we're just gonna actually run through these guys because I'm gonna stupidly reactivate them again by touching a banner. Is there any way of it? Oh no. Run! Run, madam! Okay. We can run faster, maybe. Yeah, okay. Life and death. <laughs> there is a wee stamina bar, but it doesn't seem to be too um, unforgiving. Okay, now we can touch this banner. Lads, I really don't fancy killing you all, so... 
what we might try and do is... The power of the door! <laughs> okay, Judy Dench is taking them all on. I'm just here to I'm just here to distract her, it would seem. Okay. Please don't say that. Okay. Jesus. Get my arse handed to me. And pop a wee pill. Gonna miss all my shuriken zoning shots. I'm a pacifist in this game. Is. Now what? <gasps> Cutscene. Hair still in place. Just as I suspected. She is Judy Dench. You mean to abandon the clan and search for them? Well, your man must still be alive, my blade twin. Still alive. I have to. Have you forgotten the code? <gasps> Remind me quickly. Don't tell me I have to fight her. There are bigger fish to fry, woman. <gasps> you know I cannot let you leave. You can. You really can. I could have died on the way up here. You could just let me go. Jesus. Okay. Being hit by enemy attacks while panicked. Oh yeah, okay. Jesus. She hits like a truck. I'd love if you could just get like a single headshot and she's like, fair play. He shot my eye out. That that rope jump she does is pretty insane. Holy... Okay, I think we've met our match here. Wonder can I close the door on her? Maybe and she can, uh, she can piss off then. Nope. Ooh! Okay, we can dodge it. We have to just... We can dodge the jump, but I don't think we can dodge the actual grapple hook. So like, keeping my distance from her is actually probably a bad thing, because I think that's what pro procs the grapple hook, so... Uh, maybe we just have to, like, melee it out with her. Wouldn't mind a wee banner somewhere nearby just to collect a few pills. Hand it to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I do think we just need to have to actually counter spark. But again, like I say, I'm not the best at this. Oh. Judy, don't do this. You're nearly dead. Just accept it. Let me get on with the game. No! 
You are worthy of the veiled edge. <laughs> Clearly not if I died. Right, let's try this again. Alright lads, I'll be honest. I've tried this a couple of times. I think the first try was beginner's luck in so far as how I closed her. I've tried about four times and she's kicked my ass each time, so this seems to be the winning the winning move. I'm just getting lucky with the with the counter sparks. Um, it's a painful, it's a painful boss fight, especially in the early ages, because early stages of the game, because she really is, she really is, um, she's difficult. We'll pop a wee pill. And she has insane stamina, which is, you know. We just popped her last pill, which is bad, because... But she has low health. Ooh. Damn. I have a wee rifle or something that I could actually... Oh, get wrecked. GG easy. GG Dench is no more. Quite sad. I hate these kind of like unnecessary honor deaths that Ronin games kind of put in. I look very emotional. This. There. I should have just rope darted away and let her on her way, but anyway. I think this is your man's um, grave, isn't it? Ever since I lost my blade twin. I've had to live with the pain of surviving. Go! Jesus, she's like narrating a novel here, isn't she? Just about to die and she's like, oh, if you have a second, I just want to... Just want to do all this, like, uh, lore with you. <laughs> okay, we took the scarf. We hear dogs. We are seemingly in no rush. Come on, plot armor. A secret passage that definitely will not be uh, infiltrated. <laughs> Do we take her sword? Yoink. Graphics are stunning. Game's getting a lot of grief online because of it. I think it looks pretty, pretty polished. Oh, and here we go with the open world. Well, hey! So, uh, tutorial section is officially over, maybe? Even though it was quite difficult. That last boss fight was quite difficult. Um, but yeah, now we are in Yokohama. 1858. Head to Yokohama. So I suppose that's going to be the town. We already see some lootables. We're going to go and collect some bamboo. So yeah. Great way to finish off the video, I suppose, is now that we have our open map. And in part four, I suppose we're just going to start taking on some of the quests and progress with the storyline. So if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed this playthrough, if you have any advice on how to become a better Ronin, which I 
desperately need. Drop us a like, comment, um, and I will see you all in the next one. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of the Ronin video. This is part four of my playthrough and we have finally gotten to the open world. Meadows. Meadows as far as the eye can see. Um, so yeah, we're just going down the dusty uh, path and collecting everything we can see. And obviously we're going to be bumping into a few NPCs to get kind of context about what Japan is like in the 1800s. my wares, but it's left me in a bind. The checkpoint's just up the road too. How on earth did they let this happen? So yeah, my understanding is that there are bandits galore and it's up to our Madam M character to uh, put justice back into the world. So we have a new earthenware ball, which I presume is just like a decoy, which is grand. We're going to go and actually equip that. Um, just checking very quickly if we have equipment. How do I equip this now? Hmm. Well, it turns out that it's not actually an item, but a long ranged weapon. So you can swap it around uh, with the same slot as your rifle. Bear in mind, I uh, so we have it equipped now. Bear in mind, I am still quite new to this kind of um, combat in gaming. So we're going to be pressing a lot of the wrong buttons. We're going to be dying. Um, we're going to be surpassing all expectations because my expectations are very low to begin with. Um, these look friendly. Yeah, he's dead. He's definitely dead. <laughs> so we have five enemies and a formidable foe to destroy. So we're going to see if we can sneak up on someone. Just to get them out of the... Out of our lovely hair. Probably should start using the wee mini, the wee kind of map in front of me. Yeah, there he is there. I presume I can sneak around, can I? Don't think I have to throw one of those balls. Can we assassinate him? <laughs> there he goes, the first of many. <laughs> the wee, uh, the wee... Swagger over is hilarious. Right, so the next victim is over here by the stream. The environment's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's telling us to crouch. One thing I will say about this game is it kind of tells you that it gives you kind of like what to do after you've kind of done it. So 99% of things and controls that are important, I've kind of had to self-discover before they've introduced it. But anyway, I'm not a big fan of these kind of decoy items because the impatience gets the better of me. Um, but we do want to e try and execute the fellow with the shield because I don't really know how easy that is. There's no one over there. We got him. And your man did get alerted to that which is not surprising. Kicked his ass. And he lost his head. Can't loot them, which is unfortunate. So uh, there is this fella in front, and then I'd imagine there's a few fellas in the houses. We should be able to get this guy easy enough. Oh, loot. Bamboo. Sheath. Oh dear. There is a little bit of a, of, of a an alert radius that we have triggered. So we're just going to let them simmer down. I would presume you can't really assassinate the formidable foes. Yeah, it only takes kind of half damage off him. He's angry. <laughs> that is not what I meant to do. I meant to switch to my rifle. Oh, 
Whew. When you get when you get combos and kind of good dodges, it really does. The combat's really good. Okay, and happy days. Public order restored. So we've got rid of the bandits. We've reclaimed this town. Hanmoku. Can we horse flute? Oh, we have a horse. Oh, hey. Okay, that's uh, annoying. Usually on like PlayStation games, you press the the stick to kind of speed up, but in this game, it actually is dismount, which is going to cause me all sorts of trouble unless I'm able to remap it. So we are looking for maybe quests or NPCs. Oh, right, okay, the map over here tells me there's someone to talk to. Begging your pardon, but could you lend me a hand? This village needs to resume our first trade. quest. It is too frubbish again, but our stores have been near pit clean while we've been in hiding. Could I ask you to bring me ingredients to make medicine? Otherwise, so we save the village, stuck. and she's she's been a greedy guts and asking for even more help. My God, yeah, sure, I'll do it. <laughs> really? Oh, thank you. I require a red flower for the medicine. Please search the hills nearby and bring me one. Right, gather medicinal herbs. We only have to get three of them, which is pretty fine. We're gonna wreck the we're gonna wreck the gaff that we just rescued. Um so yeah, I suppose we're we're just going to go here. There's a cat on the roof that is showing up for some reason. We can't grapple up there. Let's problem solve. How are we gonna get up on the roof? Oh. Ah. Okay, that's kind of cute. We get silver coins for transactions. <laughs> okay, so I suppose it's kind of like a wee collectible. Very good. Now onwards to the medicine herbs. So it turns out we already have one of them. I think it's one of those red bushes. Um, but there are some... Um, yeah, we're going to keep dismounting from this horse because of the controls. So circle is to speed up, which is odd. But yes, I think the medicine is somewhere around this bandit place. Is he friendly? He absolutely is not. A zoning bullet. This is too hard to do on a on a horse. Oh Jesus. There we go. Karma, okay, defeating an enemy gets you. Okay. Don't mess with me, lads. Don't mess with me. So I presume this is another village that kind of needs to be taken down a peg or two. This fella's asleep. And now he's permanently asleep. <laughs> We're gonna go around the outskirts on the back. Some fellas lurking about. Ah, here's the medicine here. Happy days. Okay, so in clearing out this town, I did die a lot, so we're just going to fast forward a little bit and take out all those mistakes I made. We do we do have a vendetta, that, so if you get killed by someone, you get a vendetta and you have to kill them to, like, restore your, your points or whatnot. So we're going to kill the person who killed me. Um, and now if you're trying to clear out this area, I think this is probably the best part because you just go up on the roof and then you can... Okay, we can... Okay, we just jump. And then you can actually assassinate from above 
and get rid of one or two of them. So this is where I went wrong. I kind of aggroed the rest of the camp when I should be just doing this. Boom. Taking any risks here. There you go. We're not taking any risks here. We want them killed and not to be killed. So. There we go, we got him. Hey, leveled up. I suppose we'll just clear out the rest of them, even though there's no real ambition for it, but... There's a fella here we can assassinate. And then there's just that fella up there. The reason why I'd like to kill him is just in case we get a bow off him, because we don't have a bow. He ended up killing me. I would have rage quit. <laughs> no, no bow. But we did get some earthenware balls. Right, back to the pharmacist. Thankfully, fast travel is pretty good in this game. You just click and you're there. Happy days. Now here's your flowers. You brought the ingredients. Thank you so much. What happens to the leftovers? <laughs> oh my, this is wonderful. Now I'll be able to we'll make be nice. lots of medicine once again. Is there anything you need for your journey? It's best to stock up while you can. She could give us free things. I mean, we did just save what her store. I, you with? I think it's too early to be buying remedies and paralytic pills and stuff yet I'm probably going to regret this wait till you see there'll be like some sort of a, a mob that will annihilate us with poison but um, we'll come back to her but yes along our travels we bumped into this encampment um, and it procked up and it said defeat the thugs so I presume we just have to reclaim different areas I don't like when you click the shuriken that you can't really aim it. It just kind of goes auto-targeting. So we're going to let him forget about us. And we're going to come approach this base in a l slightly different way. Oh, he's he's watchful. He's, he's eating his carrots. No other way around, I don't think, so we are going to have to try and tiptoe through the very observant sentry point. First of all, we get some of this ore, or coal actually, excuse me. Pulverized coal that you can just pick up. Can't jump that. Yeah, so there's four thugs and a formidable foe, so we should be fine. We should just go in. Go into this all guns blazing. It is a shame that the gun doesn't do as much damage, that you can't just like snipe them. I suppose that would come in time. Maybe you just have to keep upgrading it or something. Uh, 
Okay, we have aggroed this fella, but we haven't aggroed the rest. Of there we go. His head is gone. Okay, so it's a small ass base, isn't it? Oh dear, with the dogs. This is a as a... Oh, he does an enemy. Not too bad. So there's the archer over there. Him. That's four. And then the fella on the left. So we might be able to actually take this guy down. Oh, sugar, he's the formidable foe. We should have done the other way around. Got him. Combo's land, the combo's land. There we go. Get some nice items. We do have to kill the other archer guy, so. He doesn't know what's coming. Oh he's only he's only waking up to our presence now. Half his half his camp are dead. Surprise! <sighs> Ah, so yeah, we've reclaimed another encampment. Public order restored. Happy days. So nice that you can kind of change the different landscape and reclaim off different people. And we got a spear off him and Ben Gauntlets. So that, again, this is just a random encounter, not necessarily a quest. And then one of the final things we'll do in this video is if you check your map you can find these kind of vigilante bandit kind of contracts which usually they're kind of like mini bosses i suppose now this guy has killed me like twice <laughs> so we're going to try him again um i uh, can't assassinate him i don't think we can't get behind him no that would be a way of kind of maybe cheesing the fight but um yeah i'd imagine that these give a good bit of a reward and reputation and whatnot but they're kind of like contracts we're gonna just throw shuriken just practice practice our uh, dexterity <laughs> definitely didn't press that by mistake here we go i'll get one or two shots off him. he seems to be weak to rifles because that seems to knock him down a wee bit but yeah he does have um he does have a, a flame a flame ointment you can put on his weapons, which is not at all fun. See, this is the first kind of thing you can do. Shurikens are not that great, let's be honest. Unless maybe you level them up and they do a bit more damage, or at least hit, but everyone seems to be able to block them, which is not... not the tea. keep forgetting to press fair angle or when those kind of red circles appear. Just gonna keep our distance from him. Jesus. Let me just heal. <laughs> he almost got me girl. Okay, that one hit. That one didn't. Balance. Relatable relatable gamer. Once you land a combo, you can actually just chunk him. There we go. Vendetta gone. Fugitive defeated. 
Yeah, so fugitives are found throughout the land and you can get bounty from them. Now there is a chest right beside the temple. We're just going to teabag them there. There is a chest over here that you can get that when I originally done this I forgot about. So it is hidden in the corner over here and you can get like an epic uh, an epic um, hat that gives a set bonus as well. So well worth your time and effort. Looking schnazzy. One of the other things you might want to be doing here is in the opening area is there's going to be a shrine by the coast. Now I'm just showing you this because this is this is what it looks like but you can't actually do the challenge until it's night time and from googling you can only change the time of day when you unlock a thing called the longhouse. And since we don't have the longhouse, we can't change the time of day. So there's really no point in venturing all this way onto the temple grounds until you can do that. So just so it's not a complete waste of time for me, I'm just going to add it in here for the laugh. But on to the next thing. And the next thing being going to Yokohama. And as you go past these country roads, uh, you bump into an awful lot of civilians and can cost them. But you'll also um, run into oh dear. these kind of bandits that you have to clear out to kind of get safe passage. Um, and again, rinse and repeat. The only thing is you can't really sneak, sneak up on them, which is the only thing. <laughs> Looks like we've got another sucker. The zoning bullet. Who the hell are you? Yo. I'm putting a lot of work and effort into this, uh, into these, um, rifle shots. I don't like that the game kind of auto-focuses or auto-targets, so it kind of locks in people. Which I'm not as far enough. So, uh, I really want to just do is get the small fellas down we got one of them. But the game keeps focusing the big fella, but anyway. Yeah, he decided against the boat. There we go, head popped. We are getting better at combat. Say that as I lose a quarter of my health. Who is screaming? My goodness. Let me take your wee katana. See if the rest of the fellas have dropped anything. No. Or C. And then it's just on to Yokohama again. So I think this is like one of the final bandit encampments on the road. See, again, it's kind of hard to differentiate who's... Uh, an enemy and who's just kind of a civilian NPC but when you see these kind of um, wooden fences and stuff you can only assume and the screaming the screaming's kind of a giveaway I'm just gonna throw a zoning shuriken there I definitely didn't hit that by mistake I tried to grab the barrel but it didn't work because the game wants to auto target for me there we go there we go do too much damage to be honest so there we go one dying whatever stance this is seems to be better for them the, my other one my main stance is weak against most of these guys for some reason 
Yeah, you can't aim sure can really, but we can rifle this man. There we go. We pop shop out of him. We can't jump up there, which is unfortunate. Can we shoot the barrel? We can. And the dog's gun. Too much damage. He's landing so many shots on me. Uh -huh. Happy days. And just like that, Mother Nature agrees. Everything looks more beautiful in an instant. <laughs> Okay, man and a nappy running around. And then finally we get to Yokohama. So we've done virtually everything you can do in the opening region on Rise of the Ronin. We're just going to saunter through here. We'll dismount for the laugh. Let's raise the banner. And ooh la la, we're in the town. Just gonna show my gun off, just to make sure everyone realizes I'm not to be messed with. And there's people in nappies all over the place. Right, gentlemen. See what Where you have to say. Permit? Uh, of course, there's gonna be a permit. So maybe there'd be different options no if you had the kind of the, the dialogue skills. We're gonna get hold of one. Yeah, we're not gonna give him money. I don't even know if I, I have money. Have time to be associating with the likes of you. <sighs> Go ask around at the local village. I could take you all on. Right, so we have to go to the village to go for a permit. Which is not ideal, lads. But listen, we'll have to do what the man says. Um, but yeah, I think this is perfect time just to end part four. Um, in the next video, we are going to be going to obviously get our permit and find this village. Um, if you liked this video, if you found it informative, um, or just enjoyed watching uh, my subpar Ronin gameplay, give us a like and a subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of the Ronin video. In this video, we are heading to the village uh, to get a permit so that we can cross the bridge uh, to Yokohama. So in, in pure uh, Shogun fashion, all these permits arise and we have to go oh we finally got a bow class something i thought we would start with let's be honest i love bows um so we're going to quickly um equip that and proc the map so we're gonna go down and we're probably gonna get rid of our shuriken because i'm not a fan of them class okay how many we have 10 arrows now, please let this be a one-shot kill. I'm not going to go in all guns blazing just yet. All bows blazing, because um, we don't want to die. And I don't know if, you know, like in The Last of Us, when like bows were silent one-shot kills, these might not be. This is the old-fashioned. We'll loot them later. Yeah, and I suppose we're just going to knife these guys. Who needs a bow? Okay, your man definitely heard us there. Jesus. Can we snipe his head, I wonder? <laughs> Love it. Okay, so we need to kill all the rest of them to get the to get the um, the banner. 
Amazing. We'll rope up. He had some red nuts. Hmm. We have three more to kill. We still have the formidable foe. Who's over there? Wonder can we just like will he know that we're here? Oh my god. Heck me. Oh yeah, they know. Get back down there, you. Oh. Where'd your man go? Hilarious. Oh, he wasn't a formidable fool. This guy is, I think. There's an L woof woof. <laughs> Quick shot. Doesn't really do much damage. Mainly because I know when we kill them, we'll be able to get restart them. There we go. Give me the pyramid. Public order restored. Where are all these people hiding? We got skill levels up. Talk to the village chief. And let's see what this man has to say for himself. <laughs> Thank you. You saved my life. I thought I was about to meet my maker. You still might. Give me the pyramid. Who were they? Bandits. They attacked our village with no warning. Bastards. <laughs> but now. Everyone else is back, thanks to you. We are in proper shape to rebuild the village. I wish to repay you for saving our village. You will find all their loot stashed in the cave at the top of the hill. Including if pyramids, probably. That way, you might find a little something that could be handy. What do you say? I'm in a hurry. More reason to go. <laughs> He's taking you no for an answer. You find a permit. You need to get through the checkpoint there. Mm hmm. If you need a travel permit, you'd be wise to hurry. You are not the only Ronin after one. What is he wearing? <laughs> go to the cave to find your reward. Okay, so we have. Welcome. We have a horsey man here. Uh, this is the what stable. Do you need? Oh, you can buy different horses. Oh, back horse. Anything else? No. See you later. Then we have to go to the stable to actually change it. So once you've bought that, you do have to go over to him and switch Hi. the black horse into your uh, default setting. He's nice, black beauty. Can I collect all these medicine herbs? Okay, we're close enough, I suppose, to... It's all the Ronin here. We just let them kill each other. Maybe. Oh, we're fighting with someone, are we? Should do more damage, let's be honest. Or maybe if we work together. Oh, 
Oh, your man died. Okay, we didn't save him. Come on. Oh shit. Oh, excuse me. Probably shouldn't be cursing. There we go. Head pop. Okay, go to the cave to find your reward. And I'm pretty sure that it's not going to be the end of the fighting. Can't take the pony in. Presume this is the cave. Maybe not. There's a chest, anyway. We pile door that doesn't seem to want to open. So this must not be the cave in question. Feels bad, ma'am. We shall climb out. Okay, so this is the cave entrance, which probably connects to the other one. Let's be honest. Let's let's give it. Let's give a guess. This is the one they want us to go to. The one that's actually closer to the village. So I missed it. And we have more fighting. Zoning bullets. Oh. What like tells me that not to attack the other fella? Well, well, it's getting lively around here. Unless it'll be like the blades giving me half to zoning slices. This is very dead. Let's hope there's two pyramids. Hmm? Oh shit. Someone just doesn't know when to quit. <sighs> we pissed up. It seems you might also have a story to tell. I know. Tag along with me, will you? <laughs> this way. I'm the main character, actually. This way. Come on. Hmm. I suppose we'll do what he says. Go to the cave to find your reward. The exit must be this way. I can feel a breeze. My pistol's quite something, isn't it? A friend who went to Shanghai gave it to me. The world's turned upside down since the black ships arrived. Who knows what will become of the samurai? If we don't embrace the best parts of the West, we'll be left behind. What did I tell you? It's the exit. Stick Wait. with me, and you'll be all right. So we did already get the reward. I was in that cave <laughs> looking for a permit when they attacked out of nowhere. I know I technically left my plan, but did they have to chase me all the way from Tulsa? Being a Ronin can be liberating, but I wonder if it's worth Why is he talking? Time? I'm busy flower picking. Still, I can't believe you got attacked in there too. I've got a feeling that old codger might have fooled us. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the way of the world. Ah, there it is. This is the place I wanted to take you. 
talk to the eccentric Ronan. So, you're on your way to Yokohama too? Well, good luck if you don't have a permit. <laughs> if you're after one, I might know someone who's got some. The head of the gang of rogues that's occupying the local magistrate's house. Hmm. They've been busy stealing everything that's not nailed down. He'll have some of his thugs guarding him, I bet. But you look like you can handle yourself. Absolutely. So, how about it? Want to go and purloin some permits? <laughs> Why would you say no? Of course you have to say yes. I'd imagine. <laughs> That's the spirit. Unless maybe there's a different I way of doing it. you had a bit of fight in you. Okay, so we have allegiance and allies, so we'll have people following us. Oh, and then I suppose you can obviously go co-op with people, maybe? So we have the eccentric Ronin. Um, yeah, I'm gonna begin the mission. I'm ready for action! Very cool. Oh, and we can swap characters. Ah, that's very cool. He's not a patch on Shampoo Man, though. Or Blade Twin. Oh, he's a pistol lower. Whatever that is. Revolver, is it? Optional. Defeat formidable foes. Find place. the bandit. Chief. I wonder where their leaders hold up. So I'd imagine we have to kill the, the, little, the little men first. So we're just going to sneak in. Your man's eyesight might not be great because we're literally in front of him, but he can't really... He can't really decipher us. We're breaking pods left, right, and centre. We weren't close enough to execute him, so... That's unfortunate. Your man? How did he not? That's so funny. Yeah, the alert system in the game is a little bit on the weak side. That's pretty cool with the dirt fling, that's kind of cool. And he's like a jump ability. Oh, and he's dead. Close. Hmm. Maybe I'm not the best at controlling him. One dead. Yeah, it's not. It's not a silent kind of. It's not a silent thing that we can do. Gunfire it doesn't really seem to do much unless it maybe staggers those, I don't know. Doesn't seem to much. I don't want to be wasting my ammo too quickly. I say as I just shoot a bow into the wall. Is there still oh there's this fella. The archers do seem to be a wee bit weak. Is shuriken instead of arrows, which is sad. We needed to restock our arrows. It's like a jungle gym. Fella just there. Power remedy, oh yeah, so these are like the little kind of potions. I think it's too early though to be kind of worrying about equipping them just yet. Famous last mistake, the whale, you see. 
Can we kill this fella? Oh, close. Oh shit. Oh, me cursing. This is the first video there, I'm cursing like non stop. So yeah, combat style effectiveness. This is probably why some fights have been a lot harder than before for me because I've probably been fighting the wrong, the wrong style. So yeah, he is this blue there, which means that eccentric zoning is effective. Whereas against this fella, he's weak. Nice dyna dynamic. Kind of hard to know though what style is which. Ooh. Once we kill this fellow, we can actually activate the banner, so... And I think this fellow's gonna be one of the formidable fools, so you have to die anyway. Days. Yes, so we kill the form of the fools first. Time to light the burner. Oh, and we have a wee shop steward here. Black marketeer. They're merchants who sell items in exchange for silver coins. Don't rush. <laughs> take your time. Don't rush. Take your okay, time. Okay, I'm taking my time. Don't worry. Um, we'll take a few arrows, but then that's really it. Is that all? It For absolutely is. So, I'm just rub the place. Let's go upstairs, I'd imagine. Nobody in here. Except a lovely booty. Nice find. Right, so there's a few avenues we can go. We did clear over here. But there does seem to be people on the cliff face there. Interesting, interesting. So we're going to go for the cliff guys first. Um, plot twist, I did try and fight off the end boss. I randomly found him and died a few times so we will go after the formidable foes to weaken the final boss so that's why there was a little cut there because i don't want to show you all the stuff that uh, goes wrong in these playthroughs i'm going to show you me me being amazing which is beheading this chap this chap yeah so this is the second formidable foe Oh no, how do I get back up? Oh, roof dart. <laughs> oh, there we go. His big ass head just flew off. Right, so we have one more formidable foe to best. And we're going to find him by going along the rooftops. Back onto the building where you first arrived, I suppose, and then we're going to rope dirt over here. Your man is just chilling in this little paddock. And get rid of his little henchman first. We're going to do a zoning bow. Can't do much damage, does it? <laughs> Sorry, I'm too busy missing everything to uh, to watch out. My main character is a great distraction. Kicking his ass. Happy days. Enemy weakened. Oh, and we got a like a legendary pole arm. 
We do have to remember that everyone has respawned because we do go back to the banners. It would be great if we if we got killed by this lowly grunt. Not today. Not today, buddy. So we got an anti-chi remedy. We are gonna go back to the banner. And we will heal. And then it is off to the bandit chief. And you can find the chief going up these little stairs. Try to sneak by this man who is not having it. Like I said, I did do this before, but without weakening the man that chief. Not to be recommended. Those guys don't seem to be aggroed, so we're gonna just go up this way. Looks like you've messed up again. And we are against Gonzo. And get a quick well shot into him. I did have a death wish, I'd like several of them before I realised I should weaken you first. He's still pretty tough, especially if I'm attacking the building. Oh. oh, we missed out on the triangle. I'm just gonna shoot him. Shoot the building. Oh! Jesus, he's pretty uh, Oh. I'm fucking dead again. My main character is just like. the healer. Probably shouldn't have used that on her because she's not really going to be doing much damage. Oh my god, clean the gun. Okay, we got this lads, we got this. We are indeed, I'm about to die though, well done. Oh, not me getting torrents. Right, one eccentric ruin. Shoot him dead. Ooh. Happy days. Oh, to what's in it for me? Why would I do that? You don't know what I'm gonna do. I could just take it to you after I kill you. Everything we managed to loot and pillage is in there. Take anything you want. There's this contraption we picked up somewhere. I have no idea what it is, but I bet it's valuable. <laughs> Again, we could kill you. I think we leave him alive, though, just in case he's it benefits us somehow. Storehouse, then, or do we? Oh, we have to talk to the eccentric Ronin. I can't believe you let their boss live. And you trusted him. <laughs> You're a soft touch. <laughs> well, as long as we can find. Imagine plot targets. twist: the pyramids are gone. You've got the key to their storehouse, right? Well, let's head there. I've got an idea where it might be. Come on, follow me. They must 
be sitting on all sorts of ill-gotten gains. And if I'm right, those permits will be among them. Give me all the gear. So, you found some permits, did you? Could you spare one for me? This isn't a mere piece of paper to get me past a checkpoint. No. This is the ticket to a brighter future for this whole country. It's a future I'm going to help forge. You know, I have a feeling I haven't seen the last of you. Maybe we can meet up in Yokohama. Dun dun dun. Probably, yeah. Uh... Could you imagine better or not? <laughs> There's a clock tower there, in the western style. Meet me there. Ask around if you can't find me. Where's Ryoma Sakamoto? You'll make it work. Well, won't wait, I won't be able out. to remember that name. Oh, no. This eccentric Ronin is gone. Oh. Oh, so it's kind of like we've collected him as an ally, I'd imagine. Bonds, yeah, establish and strengthen bonds by meeting and interacting with people who harbor strong wishes and desires. Happy days. Gliding. Oh, we got a glider. Oh, savage. This is cool. This is something we probably should have had from the start. Look at that. <gasps> That's really impressive now. <laughs> that was really cool. Just gonna spook some people. Gonna get, gonna get caught in the roof. <laughs> These weren't scared, no. What about if I done this? <laughs> and on that note, we're going to leave it for part uh, five, actually. Um, if you like this video, if you find it useful, entertaining, stupid, uh, always appreciate dropping a like, comment, a share, or subscribe to the channel. It means a lot, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hello everyone and welcome to our Rise of the Ronin video. This is part six, my how time flies. We finally gained access to the Yokohama town slash city, depending on your definition of civilization. Um, so excited we got our glider and like that bird we're gonna be soaring we have a wee cutscene here of people late for school oh no actually the ships are here <laughs> that makes sense so I suppose this is when the kind of Western and Japanese clashes happen Western nations far surpass us in terms of strength. If we do not catch up, we are surely done. <laughs> that is why we must do what we can to learn from them. Willing to affect true change. Mysterious people. Mysterious rich man. People in Western clothes, I've noticed. Can't really blame and no clothes at all, judging on the fella in the background. Hmm. His methods won't make him popular. <laughs> you don't be punished for this! Save yourself! <laughs> so 
so this fella is obviously the fella inviting them inviting them to Japan cozy oh the black ships return seeking the prize of a commercial treaty between America and Japan with the city in tumult, the figures who will shape Japan's future gather in Yokohama. Okay. Am I one of those figures? Yes, there I am. <laughs> Looking like I'm a blackjack dealer. What can I help you with? Oh, an apothecary. Yeah, you don't really have anything that I probably should buy, but. Please come again. I'll consider it. So yeah, this is us on our first endeavor around the city. Pressing the wrong buttons, which is probably going to really fuck me up if um, I start shooting people. <laughs> Jeez, the city's huge, isn't it? Landmark visited. So yeah, I'd say it's probably very easy to get lost in exploring this place. So we did get lost and I'm going to cut out an awful lot of that uh, piddling around the buildings. And we're going to just do a quick public order, which is over here. So just as civilized and deadly as the city looks, we uh, are stumbling upon bandits and whatnot that are nestled inside the city streets and okay, there's a way to get up to it oh dear let me just shoot the lot of you can i get a bit of health no anyone in the city want to help we don't seem so. Ooh. There we go. Pop the medicine pill. <laughs> Fighting alongside captive Ronin. Oh, we can actually, um... Release them. Oh. I wonder if there are player characters because they have unusual usernames. Doing our, doing our signature zoning arrows. Okay, sometimes when the game auto locks to an uh, enemy that's so far away, that like. Anyway. And so are mine. So we're just gonna pop your man's jaw off there and fugitive defeated. He was the main boss fella. Happy days. This tiny little nook beside the church can now be swept in peace. Um oh we got some epic stuff. Black shark paired swords. And we got a skill up. Happy days. We will equip that later when we remember. Get out of my way. <laughs> Bumping into people is so rude in this game. It's hilarious. So now we have our eccentric Ronin friend, Ryoma. Uh, there is a lady over here that's a vendor, I think. Oh no, it's not. It's a. She's gonna like the banner. I am hating what I'm wearing, so we will try and equip something different as soon as possible. So you made it, did you? <laughs> it's been pretty lively here, ever since the black ships arrived and the port opened up. So, what brought you to Yokohama anyway? He's a Yasuo from League of Legends. Um, will we be honest with him? Yeah, I'm looking for someone. Well, what do you know? I'm looking for someone too. And no regular person, let me tell you. 
I've come to pay Showing Yoshida a visit. Hmm. You must have heard the name. I just did from you. He's a great master whose gaze is fixed firmly on the future. Hmm. He sees what we could be a century from now and knows how to achieve it. Oh, he must the truth is want Western the technology master. then, is it? But now he has students of his own. You should meet him. Hmm. He and his students should already be here in the city. They're an interesting bunch, believe me. <laughs> hey, did no one ever teach you to walk straight? Why, thank you, sir. That was very kind of you. Hmm. <sighs> my name is Takamurayama. I'm a geisha in the Pleasure District. It would be wonderful if the two of you could pay me a visit. Oh, it would be our pleasure, truly. Uh, we were just discussing heading that way. <clears throat> what marvelous timing. The pleasure district. See you soon. We're gonna we're gonna have to age restrict this video. Great! Now come along with me. <laughs> This calls for a little celebration. Help me way. Anytime I hunch like that, it's because I keep forgetting that Come on, when you put the, the right stick stress, the in to run, forgotten. you're actually hunching. So all kinds this of game problems. is unique in that you need to press circle to sprint, but I presume you can probably you run that, but I just can't be arsed at this stage. You're supposed to be getting rid of the foreigners! Things are getting pretty tense around here. The Red Demon's been busy cracking down on the anti shogunate faction. The Red Demon. What? Found you, Sakamoto! Don't resist if you know what's good for you! Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, come on! Give up already! I'm gonna get a revolver. <laughs> What a bunch of barbarians. I swear, there's barely anyone in Tosa I can reason with. <laughs> so is this what's gonna happen now? We're just gonna get constantly ambushed by people who want to kill him. Ah, I think that's where hmm. we're headed. That looks like the pleasure district. This this is the pleasure district. Huh? It's this way. Oh <laughs> GG. Ah, okay, I can see, I can see the name now. Oh, the ambient lighting. Very pleasurable. Out of my way. We're here. Ah, could it be? I don't know, could it be? You must be the samurai Taka spoke about. We've been expecting you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's us. How could you tell? She said you were very dashing and that you looked good in leather footwear. I knew it was you straight away. You're clearly very discerning. You'll make a fine geisha. <laughs> My name is Kichi. Kichi Saito. Allow me to welcome you to the Pleasure District. Oh, before I forget, while you are here, it is strictly forbidden to be uncouth or to unsheathe. Uncouth? What is that? Oh, we can ask. You must refrain from any behaviour that might stop other guests from enjoying themselves. Ah, uh, okay. So Please, don't bring your sword do out and don't the act for the anyone. beep. Got it. I restrain myself. Now, if you would kindly follow me. This way, please. Hmm. So this is the pleasure We're gonna get betrayed by this geisha. Here at last, my friend. My, my. What a place. Definitely a tale or two to be had here, I reckon. <laughs> Probably involving us soon. The district was only built after the black ships arrived. All kinds of clients come here. 
Think of this as a place cool. where foreigners Colors and samurai are can mingle freely. By the way, did you know that Taka is our most accomplished geisha? It is very rare for her to grant anyone an audience so quickly. You I'm special. I'm the main character. This is my story. Please wait in here. <laughs> Taka will join you in due course. They're just gonna ply us with drink now. Wait, you see. <laughs> oh. Yep. Won't you have some more? Oh, We're gonna have to put some sensor bars on here. <laughs> <laughs> My one's not talking to me. This is quite the place. Aren't you glad we came? <laughs> Pardon the intrusion. Hmm. Now that we're all astociously drunk. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Please, allow me to attend to you. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Now, I have a feeling that this may well be your first time in the Miyazaki district. Maybe. <coughs> she is very pretty. I feel threatened now that I have yes, my right. main character Geisha a in a Geisha pleasures. house. Enjoy, and leave the real world behind. Hmm. So it turns out I saw a familiar face on the way in. <sighs> I'd better go and say hello. Convenient. <sighs> is this a setup? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He is a most delightful gentleman. Did you come to Yokohama together? Oh. If we had skilled up our lying, we could have oh, told a lie. Is that so? Damn. You seemed thick as thieves. So Want some unique uh, dialogue. So we might actually put some... We might I invest in the charisma. What brought you to the city? We'll be honest. Well, I can't be certain. But I have heard rumours of a certain... Samurai who came aboard the black ship? Working here, I hear all sorts of things, you know. But before I say more, I have a little favor to ask. Oh? I want you to take photographs of the pleasure district <laughs> with one of okay. those fancy new cameras. They say a photograph shows things precisely as they are. Well, I want this place to be captured. I smell hostility. blackmail. Do that for me, and I will tell you about the samurai who came aboard the black ship. Oh, I forgot to mention. To get a camera, you'll need to go to the photographic studio. There's a studio already. I know. You won't let me down. No, I suppose I won't. We need the information, so we shall go and get your camera. How do I get out? Oh, me with feet of me with feet of steel, cracking pots as I walk by them. No. So the main challenge of the game is escaping the Geisha house. And just drop to our death there. Oh my God, where are the stairs? Right. Ah, it's ah you. and our eccentric friend is here. So you're done for the night, are you? Did you find? I did. Unfortunately, he has no clue where Master Showin might be uh, either. Convenient. This is a place where people know things, but tonight I got nothing. How about you? Have fun. Hmm. <laughs> you have a habit it's of a good few uh, dialogue things, options. Don't you? Funny. Oh, by the way. My night wasn't a total loss. 
Turns out I know the person who owns the longhouse nearby. Oh, I've heard of the longhouse. Can I like change you, time with it? To sleep, right? I'll head over and procure a room. Come check it out later, won't you? Follow your blade twin. Head to the oh, I suppose we have to do it now. There's no later about it. Head to the longhouse. Oh, I'd imagine it's the <coughs> dump that we came across earlier that we thought was the pleasure. Yeah, the pleasure district. Yeah. It needs a little bit of TLC, I'm not gonna lie. Hey! I hope we don't have to pay rent it's on this a thing. It's rundown, but pretty spacious inside. <laughs> You can keep a change of clothes or anything you'd like here. I hope you'll find it useful. Well, thank you. Oh, he's not looking for payment of any sort or request or something, so... Happy days. Better raise the banner, though, while we're outside. Should we enter the longhouse? Just think of Vikings when I hear of the longhouses. Uh, oh, you can... People will visit you and you can form bonds. Um, and no, store items. It's not bad, relaxing together like this. Oh god. Is there like a romance thing in this game? Remodel, so you can obviously adorn your different things. Oh. A modest mannequin. That's pretty cool. Just... And then... Oh, we have nothing... Uh, no accessories to um, display. Which is sad. We can relax. Redesign allows you to alter the way your equipment looks. That's kind of cool. I'm going to wait until I collect a little bit more though before we start like delving into this kind of stuff. And we're just going to rest. Till noon. What a weird way to sleep. Oh, and he's back. He's back in the room. <laughs> and we we'll like this. Right, let's go. Music's lovely. Pretty handy, right? You can use it how you like. I'll pop in every now and then. Hmm. Please don't. From now on, I'll tell everyone that Call this is where we're staying. <laughs> that should make things a little livelier. Well, that's it for you and make me Make things tonight. a little livelier. There are I'm people out to trying to kill you, so am I just going to get, like, knifed in my sleep? Stay for tea at least. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Already right at home, eh? Sadly, I should be going. Oh, declined. Ah, oh, wait a second. I wanted to give you this. <laughs> as well as a house. Here's a present. What is this? It's a pocket watch. Now you can check the time anytime. Oh. Hope you don't mind that it's slightly used. I think you'll still find it handy. Well, see you around. Hmm. Oh, we got a new combat style. We learned a new combat style. Oh, this is for us so we can now mimic his moves. I would imagine. That's pretty cool. Ah. It's very cool. Um, so you can switch between the different styles. So obviously as we um, as we get more characters and more bonds and stuff, we can um, do a lot more different kinds of weapons and whatnot. Um, I still haven't mastered the original things that um, the game has thrown at me. Um, so why not throw more? We've so heard this is the camera shop. Very and I'd say we're just going to probably murder these guys Oi, for the end of this video. <laughs> Before we get jump started oh, into the next quest. What are you doing here? You look shady to me. <gasps> How dare you, sir. Out with it. Who are you? 
We're under strict orders from Lord E to arrest anyone suspicious. <laughs> What's suspicious about me? Ah, oh, look at all the dialogue options. We can't say anything but leave me in peace, which has swords what the hell? icon on it. Who do you think you are? No, I asked for peace, You're out of line. which immediately got their attention to their swords. So, is that just like a coded <laughs> language? Oh dear. Oh. There we go. One gone. Everyone's running away. There we go. Ho oh. ho. Your man's style is pretty good. We're gonna switch to the pair of blades though because it's a bit better against them. I say as I get my ass handed to me. Pill. Don't make me get the rifle out, sir. Happy days. Ah, that was a big help. You could have helped. But yes, I'd say we're going to leave it for this part of my walkthrough. In the next video, we're going to find out who these two lovely lazy chaps who didn't help me are and how we're going to get the camera for the Miss Geisha woman herself. If you like this video, if you enjoyed the walkthrough, uh, give us a like, a comment, a subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Have a lovely day. Hello everyone and welcome to part 7 in my Rise of the Ronin walkthrough. Now, if you've missed the previous video, just a quick recap. We're looking for a camera <laughs> in the most bloody and um, violent way possible. But yes, we're looking for a camera for the geisha. And to do that, we need to, I suppose, dispatch this menacing man from the front door. And thanks. <laughs> that was a big help. Unlike you, who didn't help me at all. <laughs> I owe you. Those nitwits. They think cameras are some kind of weapon. Mm, in the modern era, maybe. But I'm afraid my camera is broken. Of course. It means I can't earn a living. How is it, Igashichi? Got it working again? I'm afraid not. <laughs> Without the schematic. I'm at the end of my rope! Ugh, curse those dumped thieves! Make a copy of your schematics. Are you serious? This isn't good. Hmm. Those thags have no idea of the value of what they've stolen. But I can hardly just go and ask for them back. Oh no. Uh, wait. Is that my glider prototype you have there? You managed to get it back from Yeah, and it's thieves. mine. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Most impressive! Could it work? Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, but it might. I can see it all in my head. The perfect plan. I need those schematics back. And if you help me, I'll give you a camera. Sound good? Oh dear. Hmm. A clear and rational response. You must have the inventor's spirit. Those thieves have a base in the Mitre Castle ruins. Oh dear. Sounds far away and dangerous. Head to the temple hall nearby. Oh dear! <laughs> I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igashichi Izuka. Igashichi? Okay, I'm not even I'm gonna. I'm so bad with names, ordinarily. Well, I shall see you there. I'm just gonna call him Professor Gadget. So yeah. I'm Adam M from Final Fantasy. Fantasy. He's Fantasy. Professor Gadget. Well, we have the Geisha Lady, Eccentric Ronin, and this dude here. <laughs> Right, listen to his request at the castle. Before that, we better light the banner. Alright, let's go open the map. Yeah, we actually have a, a bit of skill points, but we're, we're getting distracted here. Right, so the map, yeah, it's, a, it's pretty out far from town. There's some veiled blade um quests on the way in which we may 
do as we encounter them. So yeah, Yokohama is a bit of a pigsty, isn't it? There's like bandits everywhere. And I didn't think this through at all because um, <laughs> there's like six of them. Right, we're going to try and get rid of this guy because we have a, a bonus against him. I've got one done. Oh dear. Someone's pelting us with arrows all the while as well. Dear lord. Alright guys, let me just pop a wee uh, medicine pill. Just gonna light myself on fire here. Okay. So he's a formidable foe, so I really should have tried and got rid of the rest of the guys before. Him. We might be able to kill him without that. Okay, I'm gonna use my elixir. Zoning bullets. There we go, we got him. Don't tell me, don't tell me the NPCs are gonna... The lower end of the minions are gonna kill me. I do keep forgetting to... Uh, White blood off my swords with the combos, but there we go. And the last man over there. We're gonna have a bow off. <laughs> Happy days. We've reclaimed a considerable-ish district of Yokohama. All the while getting distracted from the main storyline. So let's get back into that. So we're on the outskirts of town. We've got our wee pony. We're trying our hardest not to fall off the bridge. There seems to be an awful lot of bandits on these roads, lads. Come on, Black Beauty. Yeah, okay, that's far too difficult. We're gonna dismount. <laughs> oh. There's two of them, okay. I be a bit more serious with this. Oh. Yeah, I need to actually take a. Uh, yeah, I do. I keep forgetting to use my grapple hook, actually. There we go. Ronin socks. And sulfur. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, madam. And we're on the road again, and there are bandits. Be no getting through here. Seem to be dead bandits. Let's see, figure out what I'm gonna do. I think the bow's better. Even though that's weak against him, we'll just see if we can... Yeah. So the initial shot seems to be a lot more potent than the follow-up ones. So we might just open with them from now on. There's gonna be a lot of them. We need to get like little bombs and stuff. I want little like, grenades. We want AOE damage. <laughs> then that is that little plot twist. These guys did kill me beforehand. <laughs> Not the game showing me when I edit out my own death. Which is soon to happen again, I think. Oh, very good at the old, um, 
That horse gonna be frightened away. Yeah, damn. Probably was a good one and all. I keep forgetting press triangle. That's okay, we can kill him very atmospherically on the on the stream. Or shoot him. No. He's dodging bullets like the major. By head. Wee tea bag. Yeah, I think the horse is gone, but we do get a wee bit of pulverized coal. Yes. On to the quest. Plot twist. There's actually like a um, shooting range or something here. Um, once I figure out how to actually get off my horse. Better raise the banner. Huh. Don't seem to really want to do anything. Unless I have to talk to this half-naked fella here. However good your gun, you might as well be wielding a club if you can't hit anything. <gasps> he saw my previous videos. Yes, yeah, sure why not? All right, let's see what you've got. Hmm. This could be both good or bad. I pride myself on being amazing at mini games, usually. So, how can this be? We've unlimited ammo around. I'm not entirely sure if these are all worth different. Here we go. Oh, it's a bit of time there. Grand. The reloading is pretty cool. In this. So the red ones do actually spring back up, which is quite good. Oh, finished already. Oh, she's happy with herself, so we didn't disgrace ourselves too much. Oh, right, I think we got everything. Oh, we're nowhere near the top scores, but still, happy enough with that. You're quite the shot, huh? Consider me impressed. Aha, uh -huh. happy days. Foreign book. Hmm. So yeah, that's an easy enough mini game. Just gonna trash the place after getting all the items. What do you need? Uh, buy equipment. Yeah, we don't have enough money for that, unfortunately. So yeah, this is just off the beaten track on our way to the castle. But having mentioned the castle, let's go to the castle. Plot twist: we find another thing to do on the way. So yeah, this is. There's a wee Ronin that's in here and being held captive. We've already died to these guys once just because of my silly antics. So we're going to just go and free him. Don't know why I'm aggroing this chap. He actually probably wasn't going to join the fight. Zoning bullet. The sound of gunfire should pass. There we go. And there's two more fellas up here. Oh, sugar. Here he's gone. So headshots obviously stun them for a little bit. Your man could just, yeah, thank god, get rid of him. We'll pop a wee medicine pill. 
a zoning arrow this time, which is gonna be yes, absolutely. Relatable gaming. Happy days. And another wee House on the Hill reclaimed. Public order restored. GG easy. Now onto the castle. Plot twist, there is actually like a really big resort kind of thing here. Um that has taken my life about three or four times. Um so we're gonna clear it out. Uh, there's loads of boar and stuff here. Um it's one of those like notable enemy people. Um pretty difficult on your own. There is a Ronin you can rescue in the middle of the camp. So now we're just gonna take uh, and then swipe at the boar. And at the wolf. And there's another boar. The archer up there that my game for some reason wants me to target through and avoid the boar that is kicking my arse. Oh, I'm actually, I actually died. <coughs> All on purpose, I may add. So, yeah, that, that boar has, I think, about like three different vendetta on me. I can I actually shoot it from here? It's panic. I must not be able to see where I am. What the heck happened there? Someone drop a smoke bomb to protect it. It didn't work. I presume that these boar are formidable foes. There's four of them in the camp. Get my ass handy to us again. I take a wee potion. So maybe there's a better way of doing this place. Maybe if we sneak in this way. Okay, we can assassinate this trap, I'd imagine. We take all his blue items. Help me. Yeah, there is the Ronin that we can rescue. We can't do the veiled banner until we clear out everyone, so we're just going to go. How do we do this now without? Alerting everyone. Can we just sneak in, I wonder? So the dogs are gonna be able to yeah, the dog's gonna be able to sense us. Yeah. Damn it. Let's see if we can actually just free him. Sorry for the trouble. You're gonna earn your keep now. Tank a little bit of damage from me, please. Shot. Good man yourself. Zoning bullets. Do you think we need like fire? There's someone shooting poison arrows at us, which. Good stuff. Oh, we dropped um 
an epic gourd. So yeah, this is well worth your time for resources and items and stuff. And there is a second boar. <laughs> because why not? Oh. I'm gonna run out of pills. Days. And he oh wow, he drops epic must be like an arrow thing. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> right, so there are three enemies left. Gonna jump up here. Oh. There we go. Oh, we got arrowhead poison. Love it. We have no arrows though. Surely he had a one or two arrows on him. So we have two formidable foes left out of... So it's just two two formidable foes. Um, and the game is telling me that it, they are in this way. So they must be in this little house, I would imagine. Not the other one, sorry, the one up on the top of the hill. We do not want to do all of this again though, so we are going to play it safe. Yeah, it's obviously in the manor, or the, the villa. In the bachelor pad. And after a quick save, there's nowhere we can actually go to like execute them or things like that, so it's a bit annoying. Uh -huh. oh, you can just run up though and take a wee chunk out of the south. So they're both formidable, which is. I'm not entirely sure where my ruining friend has gone. He must have, he must not have followed me upstairs, which is kinda sad. He abandoned me in my time of need. So I don't actually know what we're gonna do. Oh he's there, he's on the roof. Okay, the other fella's the other fella's gone to go and deal with him, so kinda needed that. save this fella. Where'd he go? <laughs> They're down here having a wee hour. Duel. So this is the main fella. This is the bandit guy. The beast master. Too bad. He's not going to have a fight. <laughs> Off with your head. Fugitive defeated. That was that was taxing there, but you, you get an awful lot of like legendary or epic weapons, so well worth it. Pleasure to fight alongside you, trapped Ronin friend. Now, onto the castle. 
Maybe. Unless we get distracted again on the way. So we finally have gotten to this castle, or at least the overlook of it. A lot to do on the way to here, so apologies for the delay in the main storyline. But I suppose it does prepare us for these kind of fights. Better raise the banner. We do have new headgear, which is cool. That's what we got from the Beastmaster fugitive. Oh, there you are. Now listen up. Here's the plan. Well, hello, my friend. Those bandits are holed up in the castle. If we march straight up to the front door, it which be probably suicide. is going to happen. Let's be honest. I'm just going to forget about his instructions and warnings and just go straight ahead. From here. Once you are in there, you simply need to retrieve my blueprints. I don't think there is a thing called simple started? in this game. Everything is just <laughs> so complicated. And there's layers and danger. But yeah, I'm ready. I'm sure we might as well. Oh. oh, you can check the rewards. That's cool. Marvelous. Now just to relax. I've never tested it, but the science behind it is impeccable. I'm afraid I can't come to your aid if you are apprehended. <laughs> but I'm sure you'll be fine. Best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, we get to bring an ally. Time for me to shine, eh? <laughs> yeah, we know how to glide. Better raise the banner. And that. This is like the best mechanic, I think, in this game. It's beautiful. Cue Jaws music. We can assassinate when gliding. That felt amazing! <laughs> I don't think it felt amazing for him. Nice. To be honest. Ready and willing! Okay, your man spotted us there. Serpentine. Oh, he got us. Why am I wasting my bow? Oh! Okay, I should have actually just wasted another arrow because he's actually pelting me. But he lost his head first. Hey! You're not looking so good! Oh, network issues. Okay, that's the first time that's ever cropped up. Don't I don't play this online, so I'm not sure why it's cropping up. Okay, this silly billy we can execute, I would imagine. <laughs> oh, he's a he's a formidable foe, so no we can't. Damn it. I don't want him to fall off the cliff in case that can't happen. Just go down and finish the job. Oh. I forgot you can say you can talk to him. My main character's like reminding me she's the uh, she's the OG. We go around this side. Get this guy. That's all the child's prey. I can hear a cat, but I really just cannot be arsed to um, to look for it at this moment in time. She's not on the mini map, so it must be one of those calicos that runs away. And we'll heal up. I am getting a wee bit of those network errors, even though I'm not connected to the so... Alright, we're just gonna try and cut the little errors out as they appear. Oh, 
I will never learn to parade in this game. Come on. There we go. Time to raise the banner. And we have ourselves the wee shopkeeper in the corner. Let's see what he has to sell. Don't rush. Take your time. And I have everything really. Everything is just going to be surplus into my my stock, so we don't really have to get any for you. And then we just have to fight the main boss fella who's up here. So we're just going to take out that archer. I think we've aggroed him. We've aggroed my network settings again. Uh, come on, internet. So that's the big kind of boss man there. Who the hell are you? Trying to steal my treasure, oh. are you? <clears throat> Did not mean to do that. Yeah, I am being serious. I've near felt me death there. He's coming down now. He's much easier when you kill the the employees. <laughs> I tried killing them without that first at the very start, and I'm shooting my ally. And um, yeah, not to be recommended. Wee. Zoning arrows. We we just wanna. Frighten him first. <laughs> this man hits like a truck. Zoning bullets, my god. Bullets do a lot of damage to him though, so... We're gonna miss out on our triangle again. Jumped up samurai is a very apt description of the Manifesto. <laughs> and there he is, Finito. GG. Huh. That was pretty easy. Just gonna touch banner just so that we can now get healed. Your man up the very top will um will respawn, but something I'm not too worried about. Can't aim with that. Uh, let me just swap to bow. Boop. Oh, there's an archer over here. He missed all the action. He's the end boss. Four arrows. Up here is the storehouse. Hopefully the schematics are there. Don't know how you're supposed to get this without fighting them, but I, the way the dialogue goes, I think you can. Over here. Hmm. So you were spotted by the bandits, but still managed to prevail. Magnificent! I saw those wretches. Unless maybe you're able to steal keys, I don't know. Oh, my blueprints! Thank you! I was worried that those delinquents might have disposed of them. Now I'll finally be able to show the studio and what I can do. Here's the prototype I promised you. Take it. Happy days. Hold on, See you around. Make sure you use it. You hear? Your bandits are stound all around you. Now, I believe there's an elevated area in these grounds. Why not try taking a picture from there? Follow me. Why not? This he way. says that he couldn't Follow use his glider, but how did he get over here so quickly? Hmm. What's the real tea here? This used to be a fine castle where the lords of Kira resided. But his best days are now behind it. Come on, over here. 
Very well. It's time to give that camera a go. Don't be shy. Hmm. Seems like a nice camera, eh? Ah, I know. The temple hall where we met is the perfect right spot ahead for photographs. Right ahead of you, Bucko. Impressive, no? <laughs> and this is just the beginning. There are so many improvements. Filters. Ah, Fish-eyed lens. I must go. I have a camera I need to fix. <laughs> the fellow who runs that place has a temper, you see. Anyway, I'll be in Yokohama for a while. It's the place to be for anyone keen to learn more about foreign ideas and inventions. Hmm. Remember, it's not just cameras I double in. Oh, if you're gonna have like tech. Some way, just let me know. You're gonna be my Alfred. Understood. Wonderful. <laughs> I would be delighted to help. <laughs> Whatever, see you around. You're so bitchy videos. in this game. I'm lodging in the photographic studio in Yokohama for the time being. Feel free to come and see me anytime. No, I think about it. There are all sorts of improvements I want to make to that camera. So don't be a stranger, you hear? Infrared vision. <laughs> oh, so we have a bond with them now. Happy days. And that is us locating the camera. So that's going to do us for this part of the video. And um, we've covered an awful lot. Some the main quest, some not. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like, a comment, share, subscribe to the channel. All appreciated. I uh, hope you're enjoying Rise of the Ronin as much as I am. And I will catch you in the next one. Hello everyone and welcome back to part 8 of our Rise of the Ronin uh, walkthrough. Well, How time flies again. Uh, if you've missed the previous videos, just a quick update. We have secured now the camera for Taka, who I suspect is going to be using it to either... Um, take up scrapbooking or maybe blackmail some people. We're gonna do we flirt there and say we'll take a picture of you. I wish you to photograph, <laughs> but as you like. <sighs> oh damn, no items. Damn right. All right, we'll take pictures of the rooms then she wants. I shall direct you to a number of rooms. Be sure to capture the sheer energy of this place. Hmm. I will energy. You yes. In the central room upstairs. Right, this seems doable. We just have to take photos. I don't really look that um, welcoming, do I, in my little robber mask? Photograph the servants' quarters. Okay. Are they? Oh no, they're downstairs. Right, let's just let's just take apart the. Um, Let's just take apart all the furniture as we walk by. There is a cat in this room, so we might just get rid of it, get this done. <laughs> okay, maybe not. So yeah, this is the first, this is the servant's quarters. I'm gonna switch to the camera and take a nice picture of himself and herself. Yeah, we just have to photograph two rooms. Now, if you're stuck on this, this took me a wee while to figure out. You actually need to go up to the second floor and then um, go up past this beam here, turn around, and you should be able to rope yourself up to the beams. Um, and then you're able to sneak in to get better vantage points of the different rooms. So it takes a little bit of while. I'll have some money very soon. So yeah, I think we're just going to be spying on the Europeans here and taking pictures of them. You know. Uh, All very above that's board. That's wonderful to hear. But how did you get the money? How did you get the money? Is he going to finish that sentence? No. He's on to us.
Okay. There's a lovely wee um, item there. Are we going the right way? I don't think so. So we are going to have to retrace our steps, I think. So yeah, it's just the opposite side. We pop our heads out, out here. And we take a photo from the outside window, I think. There seem to be more than usual. Well, I've built up a stockpile. I thought you might appreciate a little extra. Oh. So again, we don't really have any context into what is happening here, but I presume we're going to um Attack is going to be using these to uh, get a, a bit of information out of these men. Do you know what? I'm just wondering as well. Why are there candles in these little tunnels? Surely to God, that's a fire risk. Report your findings to Taka. So we have to go to her office, I think. She's in the corner. Hard to remember where the door is. Oh my, you work fast. <laughs> Not really. I did get lost in your little catacombs upstairs, but anyway, we edited that out. <laughs> you certainly know your way with a camera. Now, finally. Finally. I want you to go to the room down the hall. Okay. You will find a man named Kogoro Katsura there. He's rather intimidating, but I'm sure you can handle him. Hmm. Leave it to me. Just make sure he doesn't notice you. What's the bet something's gonna happen here? The chap is definitely gonna notice me. Wait, you see. I don't exactly blend in with the clientele here. There he is down the hall here. 30 meters away. Presume that's it. So I think he's, it's safe to say he's a little bit drunk. Did you get your picture? Yeah, let's just, let's just do what he says, like... <laughs> Admit it, you're a spy for the Shogunate, aren't you? Oh, so he must be working with the Westerners. I'll cut you down. We swagger of him. He's still, oh my god, he's still kicking my ass. This is too easy. The switch menu. We fell. All the while destroying all of the decorations. Uh, Gun seems to be They seem to be effective against him. Ran out of bullets though. He's stuck in the environment. Jeez. 
Then we just burn, burn the fecker. We ran out of pills here, so this could be a bit dicey. This is what we're resorted to. We need to just There we go. Kinda cheesed him a little bit, but it had to be done. I was trying, full disclosure. He's either so drunk he's asleep or it's blood loss. I'm gonna go with the former. Well, well, look who it is. What uh, are you doing out here? Nothing important. Ah, oh no, mm. did Katra pick a fight with you? Come on, voice. We speak. Oh, you know him? oh, I know him all right. This is the guy who's been helping me look for Master Showin. Katsura here is an old student and close friend of his. <laughs> this guy never learns. Just the other night, he got dead drunk and danced around naked before falling into a pond. Dear Lord. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I had an important matter to attend to. <clears throat> so they must be working for the Westerners, then, I suppose. Look around on me. Mm. <laughs> One thing I don't really understand is why were we sent to take a photo of that room if your man wasn't in it? So, Taka, you just set us up. I came to see what all the fuss was about, but I see it was you and Mr. Katsura. Would you join me in my chambers? There is something I wish to share with you. Hmm. Oh, thank you. What a wonderful picture. I can almost feel the life of this place. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The samurai who came aboard a black ship. When I last visited the American consulate, I heard an interesting tidbit. Apparently, that samurai is within the consulate itself. Guess we know where our next mission is going to be. The samurai has a hand like a demon's claw and acts as Mr. Harris's personal guard. Hmm. A demon claw? I cannot imagine. It certainly doesn't sound natural. Now I think of it, Kichi is on rather good terms with Mr. Harris. It may be worth speaking to her later. You hmm. take splendid pictures. You can stand up to Katsura. Is there anything you can't do? Hmm. Yeah, we're such well, a pawn to her. I do still have some requests. Yeah, I'm sure you do. For tonight. Please enjoy your time here. Hmm. Also, we were gonna unlock her as a bond, I'd imagine. Hmm. The outfit's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Mission complete. So we've unlocked the pleasure district as a base, so that we can meet people. Woman has a cat icon. Old warrior, you have the most impeccable timing. I fear I am in desperate need of your assistance. Hmm. You see, my darling cats have run away. Okay, now we know why the mini game exists. <laughs> they've first, they've certainly run away a great Having distance. Only known the comforts of home, they simply won't last in the cruel world on their own. 
Nor I another day without them. Do you think you could see fit to find them for me? I know it is a lot to ask, but... Who are you? Oh, my humblest apologies. I have forgotten myself. I am so worried about my cats, I can hardly think straight. <laughs> my name is Uzukumo. I am a quarter son in this district. I hope you do not think too poorly of me. Aww. <laughs> Leave it to me. You will be compensated for your efforts, I can assure you. Okay, so yeah. How goes the cat search? Mm -hmm. I hope they She's are a good few items, safe she? and well. For seven hundred cats, the feck. If you would like that, you will have to track down more of my cats, I'm afraid. Healing elixir. Hmm. On charm, used to get rare charm points. Is there anything else? Farewell, no. You know what? Speaking of cats, oh, we have a bond for her as well. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to take her on a mission. Right, so let's try and get this cat then in the back room and just be done with it. It did try and elude me. I hope it has respawned. Oh, yeah, it has respawned. So I presume there must be some sort of a an alert system. Yeah, when it, it, it kind of puts its head up, so I suppose we have to kind of stop moving when it... Oh, long-range pet. Happy days. And now we talk to the eccentric Ronin himself. Oh, heading home, are you? I heard you're looking for someone who came on the black ships. Taka told me. So, did you find out anything? We'll be we'll be honest. There you go. Oh, see, I proved our bond. Was the place to come. Yeah, so we're and all talking to each other, more. so we better not lie to our allies. <laughs> I know there was that incident. But Katsura's a fellow worth knowing. He might well need your help with this and that. Hmm. I recommend staying on his good side. Yeah, so oh, it seems that he is the pro-Western so front. So do you know there's like factions in this game? Staying at the Sakura Inn. Head there now and you'll catch him. I bet he can help you find whoever it is you're looking for. Hmm. I'm going to keep searching for Master Shoin. Once I find him, I'll introduce you. I promise. You and I are true friends now. No doubt about it. Uh -huh. If you're ever in trouble, just let me know. Good. <laughs> I need you. I need some reliable person. We still haven't used Gonzo on a mission, so right now he's the only kind of reliable person. Right, so this Sakura Inn is just across town, so let's go to that quickly. And here we go. Not as nice as the Pleasure District, let's be honest. You see we Sakura Blossom on the blankets. <laughs> Want to cross swords again? Mm, not the peaceful loving type are you. Oh, from the pleasure district. <laughs> That's right. I remember those eyes. Sorry about all that. My memory is pretty hazy. <laughs> <sighs> Had a few too many again, did you? Sadly, yes. And they ended up getting soundly beaten by our friend here. Absolutely. To be honest, I might have Trounced. even stone cold sober. No, no that's gonna be wrong. It's quite something, <laughs> but you seem to be self-taught. I recommend you test your metal at a proper dojo. Genzui here is off to do just that. Genzui. And he's no slouch when it comes to his studies either. No wonder he's showing Yoshida's favorite. <laughs> hmm. 
This accursed city is full of outsiders acting like they own the place. Removing them from our land calls for force, not diplomacy. Now is the time to show the world the tenacity of our blades. In the name of this divine country. <sighs> there he goes again. I'm going gambling. I've been not that short on coin of late. Where are your manners, Shinsaku? Shinsaku. Show our guests some courtesy. Want to join me? You seem like a lucky sort. I get the feeling you survived a few scrapes you shouldn't have. He's smooth. Yeah, let's go gambling. <laughs> Don't be fighting at no dojo. Okay, so yeah, there's pro and anti shogunate factions that you can align yourself with, and you can get cheaper items depending on who you've befriended. So this is the marketer here, traded bases. What will it be? So, oh, can't afford them though. Um, so far there are, I haven't done anything to piss anyone off, so we're all on neutral territory for everyone. Right, so I suppose we should just go to this old dojo. Which is a hundred meters, give or take, this direction, all the while picking plants. Fruit. And bulbs. Wreck in the joint. Feed of steel here. <laughs> Can't fit through there, we're not skinny legends enough. Jump up on the roof. This is the dodo here. How your man made such quick tracks, I'll never know. Maybe he raised the banner and he um, teleported. So we better raise the banner ourselves. And go into the dojo and see the crack is. This is why we have foreigners walking around like they own the place. He made quick work of all of them, didn't he? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Let's get straight to the point. Show me what your skill with a sword Very is. well. Allow me to demonstrate the benefits of training in Edo. Go on, take up a sword. I will be your opponent. Ready yourself. Now, full disclosure, I play this game on normal difficulty, but this boss fight was absolutely impossible. Um, so much so that the game recommended I decrease the, dic the difficulty to complete it. So, this is actually on easy mode, so the only way I could get rid of him. So I would recommend that if, like me, you are struggling. And who isn't? In life. Um, but yeah, he, he hits like a truck. Even on easy mode, no it's, he's just got so many fecking combos. I know what I'm up against. Now the real battle uh, but on easy mode, obviously it's a lot <laughs> easier, as the name suggests. Still got a pump pill There we go. My mind was clouded. I must train afresh. Hmm. Oh, he's mad. I the game. I game settings on my uh, site. Thank you very much. Truly, you are incredibly skilled. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Uh, we will put it back to medium difficulty though after this. Well, yes. He started coming here recently. But to be honest, his skills far surpass any training we can give him. He's quite a handful. <laughs> so there's nothing you can offer me then, seeing as I did beat him. If ever you wish to train, feel free to come again. You are clearly gifted. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we're unlocking a bond again. James Bond? No, your man. Kinzui. Um, and we've unlocked dojos. 
So that's probably going to be it for this part. Um, thank you very much for watching. Give us a like, a subscribe, drop a comment. Uh, and it won't be too long until the next video in our Rise of the Ronin walkthrough. Till next time. Hello everyone and welcome to another Rise of the Ronin video. It's part 9 and this game is flying by us. Um, for those who missed the last one and I want a quick sneaky update. Uh, we have finished at the dojo and now we're getting to the part of the game where we have to, I suppose, choose our allegiance. So we can go to meet Taka or we can go meet Kurugura. Um, both of which represent both sides of the, I suppose, the, the main problem of the game, which is Western influence um, and the anti-shogunate sentiment that is growing around Japan. And I'm not entirely sure which is which. Um, but this chap, Katsura, the drunken samurai, or the drunken ronin, um, I think he is on the anti-shogunate bandwagon. Um, and it's kind of sad because I'm not exactly warming to him because he's tried to kill us a few times. But he is friends with Roma, who I do like. I want what to keep as an ally, so the dilemma is written all you over my face right there, see? With the Western powers us as we speak. And so do we want to embrace Western ideals or not? Hmm. So the treaty is the main thing. Um, who is the Red Demon? I speak of presume it's our beloved twin. Since he came to prominence, the oppression has Oh no, escalated. Lord I. I know nothing of politics. You may have no interest in such matters now, but in time, I guarantee you will. Hmm. The time has come to instill a new start for this nation. That is what Master Showing and I have sworn to accomplish. But at this critical juncture, my comrades' whereabouts are unknown. Once that treaty is signed, it will be too late. <sighs> if Sakamoto trusts you, then so hmm. will I. He is pretty strong, so we would love Our him as an ally, but I'm not Harris, entirely sure we can. I think we're going to go with Taka, who probably doesn't have any allies to give us in missions, but... We need more able warriors on our side. We would be grateful. If you would see fit to join I'm us. I'm sure you would. I have heard you are seeking the samurai who came on the black ship. Word is that they now serve as one of Harris's bodyguards. <gasps> Once we attack the council, the one you seek will undoubtedly appear. This gives us common purpose, does it not? But there is no need to answer right away. <laughs> if you wish to join us, meet us in front of the American consulate. I hope to see you there. I'll think about it. Right, so that is the first one done. So yeah, there's anti-shogunate missions, neutral missions, and pro-shogunate missions. So we're caught in the middle of a little bit of a political soup. But, you know, I'm an equal opportunist. We will listen to Taka and see what the crack is with her. Like already Taka wins on the venue. Venue is way nicer. So maybe we'll just pledge allegiance to that. Her her decor skills. Ah, you have returned. I heard something rather interesting from Kichi. Okay. The American consulate is in a state of panic. It seems they're bracing for an attack from a group intent on taking Mr. Harris's life. She knows everything. A sympathetic soul must have let their tongue slip. Perhaps in the confusion, you could seize the opportunity to close in on Mr. Harris. I am sure the bodyguard with a demon claw will appear soon enough. Hmm. Aren't you worried about Harris? Well, why indeed? <laughs> I'll arrange to get you into the consulate. You'll join me there, won't you? Hmm. Decisions, decisions, decisions. 
But I think we're going to go with Miss Taka. So here's the consulate. Ooh la la, loving the fashion. No, not you. How are you? <laughs> Bye. We're gonna go around the corner to attack it. You're here. Mm-hmm. I knew you'd come. She must be subscribed to the channel. Well, I will help you, but I have a request. Hmm. I want you to find out who is threatening Mr. Harris's life. And I want to know who's in charge. The chaps at your pleasure, so, <laughs> District. How about it? Do we have a deal? That is a relief. Here's hoping you will find the samurai you are looking for. I'll alert you when the moment is right. Hmm. Don't think we have any. Can we? We have guns. Oh, we can't pick your man because obviously we pissed him off and didn't go on him. Didn't go with him. Wait, I can actually just... Oh no, I forgot to spell. Fuck oh. me. You're all over the place. There we go. There we go. His head is all over the place now. Bit of damage to the old building there, lads. Should be able to execute this guy. Oh my goodness, the gun. Oh. There we go. No way to slingshot up there, so I think we do have to actually try and shoot the old at our artillery. Lost in this wall. Uh, nothing to loot in here. I'm just conscious that we may not be able to come back here. <laughs> may not be a building left. The zoom is just upstairs now. So much for the quiet approach. You. Time to suffer. Oh dear. This is gonna be formidable foes. Dude, let's be honest, isn't that formidable? I say as I lose half my health. Oh 
Gonzo is so slow. Oh my lord, he's so slow. We're gonna die. He needs to die. Oh. Let's raise the banner. Giving up yet. I can keep going. Hmm, we have the wee vendor here. Don't rush. Take your time. We'll buy a few things and we'll see what the crack is. Okay, just going around the outskirts now of the upstairs. We should be able to execute a few boils. No cutscene for you, just Very one nice. shot. And him as well. So there's still one formidable foe before the boss that we should try to defeat. I raise the banner. Enemy way, lads. So if you're looking for the last fella to kill before the boss, he is outside in the corner here. Just him and one other fella, I think. Unfortunately, I'm not able to assassinate him straight away. Head is gone. Happy days. Enemy leader defeated. On two. Oh, and some of these might have respawned or something. Touch that damn banner. Blue hydrangeas. And so on to the ballroom. Oh, cutscene. Me and my fine my finest wear. He seems to be having a panic attack. Won't lay a finger on me. No. Dodging bullets. <laughs> Shampoo man. Dun dun dun. Holy God! He's been he's been training. Yeah, he's been busy petting cats. Which is like under leveled or something. Oh my lord! Get a wee bit of poison on it. I'm jumping around. I 
It doesn't take any rifle damage. Bit. See, the, the allies are kind of okay with tanking his damage and stuff. Just let them distract him for a wee while. Maybe the bow one headshot could do it. If I hit him. Zoning arrows. There we go. Leg shot. Pissing them off now. To try it in one more time. Full disclosure, it was more than one more time. It was several and we still lost, so this is on easy mode. I have no shame in admitting and we will adapt and adjust the settings to suit our very poor playstyle. And it looks like he's still gonna kill me on easy mode, which is It does seem to be taking an awful lot more damage from that. Pretty good. Should have really killed that fella at the start, shouldn't we? Oh, it's just not fight. Can we? We can't even rope him down. Oh, we can. Oh, okay. Need to stay away from that gunfire. Heal her. Boss. So we've ignited our weapon by some bang, which is good. Totally on purpose. Slowly but surely. Konzo isn't great, let's be honest. Throwing down bombs just for the crack. He's just trying to get this stage. Literally. We finally meet, and you do this. Go walk it out. Eventually. 
Report to Taka. There's no chest in here to loot. But usually there is. Game hates us. And it took me a while to realise that the only way to get out is through the front door, which is now open. <laughs> if they're trying to scale walls and and glide out, but uh, no. Front door is open. Miss Taka over here. It seems there was quite the kerfuffle in there. Are you all right? Mm. Did you manage to find out who was threatening Mr. Harris? Is that right? So it's our intimidating friend, Mr. Katsura. And did you see the samurai with the demon's claw? Hmm, well, we can only answer this. <laughs> you almost sound like you're I need to invest in charm love, so we can get more dialogue options. Regardless, you proved every bit as reliable as I thought. Mm hmm. Do come see me if you ever need my assistance. I dare say I shall have more favors to ask. Hopefully, more rewards, though, too. Oh, he signs the treaty, it seems. So I wonder if we picked the other fellow, did he actually die in the end? In spite of Harris's close call, the Treaty of Amity and Commerce was concluded at last. In the end, the Imperial Court did not assent. We did all we could to explain, but our words fell on deaf ears. And now there are those who would have our heads who believe we have slighted the Imperial Court. There is no other way. Should the time come when we must atone for this deed, I alone shall pay the price. With this momentous agreement, Japan opened up to the world. Dun dun dun! few days have passed and I arrive outside my shack, my hotel. Mission complete. Um, personal development. Yeah, okay, so this is Bonds. I, the, the tutorials keep constantly procking up and down. So yeah, we have Pro Shokanet. Bond transfer. You can transfer special item effects to different ones. All right, okay, that's kind of kind of cool. Um, oh, we have, we have an old doggy, and we pet. Oh God, this is going to be another quest. Oh, isn't that the pilgrim dog? Pilgrim dogs. You can ask the dog to go visit shrines across the land. So it will take a little time. Hmm. People will take care of the dog on his chair. If he earns his keep, so he can do it. Letting them carry some money is a good idea. There's a chance you may receive something in return. Conversary, if you see someone else's pilgrim dog, take care of it. I'm sure something good will happen. Why don't you try it out with this one? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so the longhouse pilgrim dogs. Um. Oh. No, we won't get 500. We're gonna go. We'll go with the middle option and see what the rewards are like. 3,000. Mm. Happy days. And on that note, that is going to be the end of this video. Um, I'm sure to be conspiring with the Shogunate in the next one. Um, but if you enjoyed this walkthrough, give us a like, subscribe, a comment. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Hello everyone and welcome to part 10 of my Rise of the Ronin playthrough! Time is flying as I've said in each of these videos and we're going through this game at record speed. 
So in this video we were doing Yokohama's Shadow, which again is a split quest, which means you can go and align yourself with the Shogunate or the anti-Shogunate forces. We are Taka stands on this channel, so we are aligning ourselves with whatever faction she is. Part of me kind of thinks the game isn't as clear really with who's who and what side they're on, so it can be a bit confusing because they're kind of all doing the same thing in the same quests. Um, but I think she is pro Shogunate. So we're in the Pleasure District and we are listening to her piece about what it is she wants to do. If you are interested in doing a favor for them, I could make the necessary arrangements. Now the problem with aligning with Taka is I don't think you get as many allies because we're not getting any Ronin to help us. Whereas with the other guys, there were like two or three that were like, yeah, I'll join you if you help us. <laughs> so there better be some benefits to uh, to aligning ourselves with her. Believe me, do you? Well, either way. I really do have something to ask you. Okay, good for a shoot. Oh, now I think about it. There was one more favor I wanted to ask. One more favor. Where have we heard that before? So fit to aid me in this matter. Hmm. You are my top priority. <laughs> will, we, will we flirt with her? Whenever I get close to a certain row of abandoned houses, I feel like I'm being watched. Okay. When I turn around, no one's there. She's paranoid. But I just know somebody's watching from some dark and lonely corner. Would just keep away so from the houses. As to investigate and find out who's watching me. I'll investigate. Thank you. What a relief. But do be careful while you're out there. Okay, so we just have to investigate some houses. Could be a bunch of cats, could be a dog, could be a belay twin, who knows. So we have to inquire about the person who was after Taka. So our, invent our investigation takes us to these dilapidated houses that we're making more dilapidated by running through. <laughs> um, let's see... Is it around this house? No it is not, and we cannot... Can I get around that fence? Just do maybe a loop around. Nothing to loot or steal. Okay, we're sightseeing. So the red marker is near here. We're just going to raise the banner. Never know when you need these quick uh, travel spots. Okay. Going about without a care. How quickly you've forgotten about Kurosu. Can't you die, traitor? Traitor? Oh, are these from the Veil's Edge? Or are they from Katsura's guys? Okay. He said, we oh, have sugar. Taka at Benden Shrine. If you want her back, the traitor must come alone. They must be talking about you, Kichi. I'm not a traitor. You go. <laughs> Here's my sword. Knock yourself out. Guidance on a matter. Please, if you know anything about this, you must save Taka, please. Hmm. Suppose we're already knee deep in this. Head to Taka's rescue. 
presume we can just run. Can we? She can't be that far away. The only thing is, we do not have many items. So we move over to the center because there are two Ronin here we have to deal with who both have both that kind of special symbol that shows they're badass. We're just going to try and smite the one that's weak with archer with arrows. Yes, we broke the code. So these are obviously blade twins on their own. Maybe even ones like bombs or something. So we're doing Sayori first, have you seen? <laughs> Wrestling moves. Zoning arrows. Just gonna try and get some distance from them. There are things that you can like chuck at them here, like little swords and stuff, so maybe this would be good. Not really. <laughs> she really doesn't want me reaching for that gun. Gun's pretty pretty big big in her. We should be able to get it over with the uh, swords now. Before she pops on us again. Alright, peace, Sayori. Zoning arrows. I'm not too scared of this chap now. Just because we've got plus damage on them from our style or our stance. We've got the bent and trying key. <laughs> She's asleep. Even if you do look rather wretched. <laughs> the shade of this woman. <laughs> well, thank you for your honesty. As I suspected, it kind of was our fault. It was your former kin who kidnapped me. But listen, me. we've been putting our neck out in the line for our all game, so it's only right. Well, I suppose I could. Only if you agree to see me again. Well, we've Don't pitched ourselves to her allegiance, so On the contrary, we can't really escape her backtrack now. Saved me. See, do I look angry? Not do you really. Need a closer look? <laughs> the flirt. <laughs> I'm only teasing. I really am grateful, though, seeing you show up to rescue me. I thought I was dreaming, but of course you'd come. How could you not? Very easily, we have a load of other quests to do. If we tried, ah, forgive me. I seem to be rambling. Kichi must be worried. I should go see her at once. Say, it would take no time at all on that. Dashing steed of yours. Why don't I hop on behind you and hold you tight? <laughs> what is this? Of course. Well, aren't you kind? Though you might have agreed to that a little too readily. <laughs> <laughs> so play hard to get in future. Oh, we have an old chest. 
foreign book. Happy days. She's just gonna jump on. I'm truly grateful that you came to my rescue. Thank you. Oh, is there a banner? Oh, we can't actually, um, we can't dismount. So we will raise that banner at another time. <laughs> and now that I've learned about you, I feel obligated to share something of myself. Go for it. Such a pleasant grace. Being here with you, I somehow feel as if I can let my guard down. How sad we are nearly there. I hope I'm not alone in this place. <laughs> Such a flare. If only we could just keep going. You and I go somewhere far, far away. Maybe that was an invitation but to actually just like ro ride somewhere else. Mm, damn, missed opportunity there. Oh, Taka, it's so good to see you safe. I'm perfectly fine, Kichi. <laughs> I'm sorry to have worried you. And thank you. Thank you for saving Taka. You're very welcome, Kichi. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I could count on you to help. Even though we were kind of the cause oh, of it, but anyway. I should mention, Taka, the guest you are expecting has arrived. Mm. Oh, I see. Very well. Thank you. Now, let me introduce you. Since you so boldly came to my rescue, I feel I should return the favor by revealing a secret of my own. Dun dun dun. Yeah, we do need to know. Can't say I'm not curious. <laughs> Once the cat's out of the bag, there's no putting it back in, you know. I'll be waiting in my room. What's this game about sure cats? Come by later. Fools, we're just gonna propel ourselves up. She should be on the ground floor. Time. Just ruined the old lantern there. Oh, sugar! It's the, the big boss himself. Red demon, we're not gonna piss him off. Oh, so there's more to you than meets the eye. Shade. As sharp as ever, I see. The truth is, in order to assist Lord E in his affairs, I've been keeping an eye on the expulsionists who frequent the pleasure district. I wanted you to know, but you must promise not to breathe a word of this to another soul. Lord E is a long-time acquaintance of mine. I wish to be of service to him in whatever small way I can. Hmm. Any complaints? And before you insinuate anything, Taka does this for me willingly. I didn't even think about that, but now that you've mentioned it, it certainly <laughs> seems the opposite now. Yes, this was entirely my choice. That's enough talk about me, I should think. It's not every day you get an audience with a chief minister. Isn't there something you'd like to ask him? Hmm. I do what my country requires of me. A sentiment alien to you, I'm sure. fools. They think my death will prevent the opening of the country. Idiocy. I have my mission. And it leaves no time to entertain their stupidity. The friendly chap, isn't he? Ah, yes. I've heard stories. Stories about them collaborating with the foreigners. See, this is where I don't understand this game because I don't know whether they're for or against. I thought and can offer no promises. I don't know. 
I think we're done we must be here. anti foreigners here. Try Taka must be like pro just way. Japan. That was a short meeting. Mission complete. Okay, yeah, we got more favor. Hmm. Very good. So the next one is Yokohama's Shadow. You can talk to Taka or you can talk to Katsura. Um, so in the next video, we will continue on the main quest. Um, if you like this video, if you find it useful, um, do give us a like and a subscribe. Keep on, tack, on, tack, on track on my playthrough. And I'll catch you in the next one. What a hideous mask. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of the Ronin video with the ugly mask equipped. Apologies for that scary look. Um, yeah, so we are now on to the main lion quest, Yokohama's Shadow, where we can talk to Taka and we can also ta talk to Katsura, um, depending on whether we want to align ourselves with the Shogunate or not. In exchange for your assistance. Now, in the previous video, we did save Tanka from uh, kidnapping, and we did meet the Demon Lord himself. So, to do so, you will have to. I think we've we've kind of aligned ourselves and we've pegged our our base with Taka in the Pleasure District. Directly understood. If the samurai give you trouble, well, I trust you will know what to do. So yeah, the quest is we so have to get this letter. Do we have a deal? Um, from a far off place on the island, uh, no doubt. Dependable as always. Well then, head to the Hodogaya post. Hodogaya One post. One of our allies will be expecting. One of our allies will be expecting you. Okay. So one thing that is nice, I suppose, about this game is that once you talk to one camp. You can talk to the other just as to kind of see what they're on offer. So, you know, we might we might go and see what Katsura has to say for himself um, before we say no to him. So thankfully there's a veiled banner right outside his hideout. We'll see what the man has to say for himself. That was quite a night, wasn't it? So he's referring to the consulate where we didn't actually join him, we joined Taka, so... Paris is in hiding somewhere. Either way, now that the treaty has been signed, killing him won't make any difference. Harris was never your main concern, though, correct? Your sights were set on the samurai from the black ships. Yes. <laughs> Learning Harris's whereabouts will help you find this samurai of yours, I suppose. Then, I recommend you pay a visit. To the Grand Villa. That's where the powers that be rub shoulders with the foreigners. One particular shogunate official, Yukichi Fukuzawa, has been in and out a lot of late. Okay. Katsura and you <laughs> together. I see. <gasps> and you. Hello, Let me just get this blade nice and teach this man some manners. Let's just get right to it, shall we? I can tell you we've located Master Showing. Oh. The red demon got him. He's been imprisoned. Okay. If we want to save him, we oh have no, no does that mean Roma is going to not be happy with us if we don't save his news. master? It seems that the Mito clan has a letter, the contents of which would force the red demon to stand down. And if we get our hands on this letter, we could potentially get Master Showing out of prison. Hmm, that ain't gonna happen. But <laughs> after the Harris incident, the authorities have their eyes on us, and we must use extreme care not to alert them to the letter's existence. That's where you come in. Hmm. I want you to get that letter from the Mito clan and bring it to me. Can I count on you? Um, what's in it for me? By removing the treacherous red demon and rescuing Master Shoin, we will secure our nation's future. Is that not enough? No, sorry. <laughs> I see. Well, you know where I am if you change your mind. That's not too bad. I was kind of half expecting to aggro the entire <laughs> encampment. So we're just going to fast forward to the 
Podugaya post because it is quite far away and we did get distracted with several mini quests so we're just going to keep consistent and finish Yokohama's shadow um, so yeah it seems like a deserted town which probably won't stay like that for long once we activate the main quest um, we're just going to flaunt our power by gliding into walls uh, and get lost on purpose we fear nothing this is how this is how skillful we are and there's an old woman so we should be fine so yeah this is our informant so you're the one they've got working for them i've heard about you hmm. you're a real charmer <laughs> he knows me well, so well whatever. as long as i get paid I don't care who you are. So, I Relatable. saw a group of samurai who looked a little on edge going to that inn. I'll bet they're the ones you are up there. Most likely, they'll be taking turns to stand guard till morning. Hmm. I recommend you strike at dawn. I'll head there now. Once you have the letter, wait down here. I'll be waiting. Hmm. Right, so we have two ally slots. We can't take him because obviously we're not really allying with him. Gonzo's not really great. Just gonna throw it out there. Just gonna make sure that we're using the best equipment. So we're gonna attach a nice bow. Can't wait to get rid of that mask because it is actually, oh, happy days. We have back our little shinobi get up. Um, everything else seems fine. I'm not too concerned with the charms and the items and whatnot. We should be able to kick ass and take names, as the phrase goes. So shall we get started or what? Time for me to shine, eh? I wonder does does he realise we're kind of going against his beliefs? <laughs> we're not we're not saving your master what by doing you? this. Who the hell are you? And um, why, why execute people when we can do it? Do this. Seems to be an awful lot of them. And their heads are gone. So bloody. So this guy looks like one of the formidable foes. Yep, he is. I've done very little damage. We're getting better at the kind of spark. One down. Just loot him. Happy days. Okay. Not exactly sure where we need to go. We do need to find the second formidable person. Um, here we go. We were here now before and during the daytime. I wonder why this place exists. Can we... Oh, we can grapple up the roof there. I'm not entirely sure now if this is... Oh, okay, there's the merchant. Don't rush. Take your time. Don't rush. We will Get try and take time. poisons and things like that just because. Thanks Why not? For your patronage. Oh, nice wee chest. Kick that open and take a wee yellow lotus bamboo and protective charm pouch. You're mine. Oh. Hello there. Goodbye. Gonna raise the banner.
Um, so that's where the letter is there. But I think if we if we take it now, it means we don't get to defeat the formidable foe. So we're just going to look for him and see where he is. Oh, this could be him. Yeah, this is him here. Fair in the car. Jesus. You're gonna get yourself killed. Nearly did. Okay. We can actually go to the banner and just restore our health. There we go. Find the letter. I'm gonna suspect that there's gonna be a boss that's just gonna pop out of here now. Maybe from the chest. <laughs> That'd be funny. Wretched car! I will cut you to shreds! Okay, here we go. The automatic doors. So, he's weak to a rifle. Do need a headshot. Wait till you take my spear. Okay, we're getting clients in here. Maybe some cool equipment we have on. I'm going to take you with me. Oh no, he's. Not going down without a fight. Pretty cool attack. Oh. Happy days. Violent Gale. Okay. We must be able to like learn attacks as we beat people. Happy days. I'd imagine that's with like the spear though, as opposed to the two-handed things that I use. Right, talk to the informant. How do we get out of here? Like we window. We can jump through. I presume that no one's respawned when I touch the banner and they should all be dead. You have done well. Now, I'll take that letter. Will you now? I'm delivering it directly. I'll deliver the letter to Katsura. Katsura. Oh, dun dun dun. Uh, I meant Taka, of course. It was just a slip of the tongue. <laughs> what a shady man. <sighs> These days you can't afford to be virtuous. A man needs to make a profit. What's wrong with that? <laughs> a lot. You're about now, to find come out. On. Give me the letter. Oh, a few options. Kill him. I'll pay you first. Stop this. You'll end up getting hurt. Okay, we're going to deal with him. Fact that. Oh. I'm not going to be paying. Are you serious? Yeah, we are. Bye. I wonder if you use wooden things, would it count as differently that? Oh wow. A lot of undone quests, as you can see. So we're just going to fast travel back to Taka and squeal on him. Tattletail. Hopefully she'll reward us. Though we took matters into our own hands. So if you give the letter to Taka... Katsura, someone needs some assistance. Not at the minute. Please. Oh, back so soon. I know, I... we were so quick. You certainly live up to my expectations. The tension between Do us. Do you have the letter? Mm-hmm. How oh, could you imagine keep the letter? She's probably not even going to read it. It's just like to stop your mouth from being exposed. Ah, yes, that is the very one. You have my gratitude. 
Did you run into any trouble? Define trouble. That was a certain thing I had to deal oh with. Oh dear. So they proved untrustworthy, did they? Well, that's the way it goes. My benefactor will be pleased. Thank you. Oh, cutscene. Is that the, is that the traitor? Seem to be that nice. Fools, are they blind? Our swords and spears are no match for their cannons. Chief Minister E removed all trace of the Imperial Edict to expel the foreigners. So began his ruthless campaign to suppress the anti shogunate forces. Did we just make a mistake? Did we align ourselves with the baddies? Taka, how could you? But anyway, that will do it. <laughs> the sabotage I've just done to the storyline. But um, that will do it for this video. We will carry on in the next one. Till then. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of the Ronin video. In this video, we are going to finally recruit Matthew Perry as an ally. Now you might remember him, no, not as the Friends actor, or IP, but as one of the first bosses we fought on the Black Ships. Um, so as a Western man, he could be a very vital and important ally to have in the fights ahead. And how I've discovered how you set about getting his bond is by helping this mysterious foreigner who's half naked on the roadside. So the issue here is that bandits have come and robbed him of his manhood, dignity and his clothes um, and they are hiding out in the nearby coal mine. Um, so we're obviously going to agree to this. Now at the time that I done this I didn't realise that it was going to lead into something much bigger. I just thought it was going to be a quick way of getting some EXP. Better raise the banner. We're still wearing the ugly mask. Apologies for anyone who is offended. Uh, we are trying desperately to find something a little bit more intuitive. So this is here on the map where you can find... Um, it's called the Black Jewel. So we have to retrieve the mysterious foreigner's luggage and gather coal. Uh, and the, the, the mine is relatively close by. And obviously it's going to be heavily guarded. Nothing spooky mask can't uh, handle. They take coal while we can. Be rude not to. So yeah, this is a simple enough one, but it just leads to something much bigger. So well worth your time if you can spend a few minutes just off the beaten path. Um, bandits are everywhere, but we will make short work of them. Oh no. Fascinate him. Oh, someone upstairs shooting me. I got a wee bit of a migraine there from being shot in the head. And we're getting shot in the arm here. Let's shoot them back. There you go. I'm trying to hide in the bushes, he can quite clearly see me. We've got coal shard. Is there anything down here? Someone who wants to kill me. And who might actually kill me. Zoning arrows. Oh, 
in this tower. Got a wee proficiency bonus there. Happy days. Gonna take a bit more coal. And then we have to get his luggage. So... No, not here. There is a fella up here. There we go. I don't know how to get up there. We could go around and get it, but I doubt he has anything of major sus sustenance? substance. Do we headshot in this man, get rid of him? Can I assassinate these by maybe jumping down? Or do I just fire an arrow? Probably one of them. Zoning arrow on him. Whee! That could have been performed a little bit better. It is. Skill level up. We got his luggage. Happy days. So then we just have to hand over the luggage and call it to the mysterious foreigner. Who is in the corner but he's not that far away let's go to him there is the veiled manor beside him so you can just teleport beside him and we give him his little uh, his little clothes back <laughs> does make a bit of a difference wretched brutes ah I forget myself Allow me to thank you. Yes, rewards, please. That's what we're here for. You have my heartfelt gratitude. Can't do anything with gratitude. I'd hope to reward you here and now, but I'm afraid those thieves have made that impossible. Would you be willing to come and see me at Yokohama Grand Villa? Hmm, well, everything goes around that Grand Villa, doesn't it? I really am telling you the truth, you know. Suppose we'll believe him. I never doubted you for a second. Good. Then I await your visit. Right, so I suppose then at that stage we will go to the Grand Villa. We have a bond with this man already. Come on, Marcus. How random. So yes, the Black Jewel is finished. And then when you go to the Grand Villa, you encounter a familiar stuff, face, Matthew Perry. In Japan. And um, yeah, so let's hope there's again. no hard done feelings. You have not disappointed me. Please continue to look into this matter. Mm. Well, speak of the devil. He's not running for his gun, so I suppose. Perhaps you would like Wrong good terms. Now. Maybe he doesn't remember Truly, us. Truly, I am in your debt. Come now, take what you've earned. Commodore, this is my, excuse me, our friend I was telling you about. It's thanks to them we were able to secure the coal. Mark hmm. my words, your fame is about to far exceed your brother's. Brothers? Now, if you'll excuse me, is Harris I have brother some business maybe? to attend to. Till next time. Adios, Marcus. I heard you helped Samuel out. It wasn't any trouble. No need to be so modest. I'm much obliged. He seems... Never mind that. I remember your face, you know. Oh shit. No need for alarm. Your partner told me all about you. <gasps> You're somewhat surprised, I'll wager. But it's true. I rescued your partner. Hmm. And fear not. What is past is past. <laughs> we almost killed you, but okay, but the bygones be, be, be bygones. I took them with me to the States. And they're back here in Japan now. But that's all I know. Hmm. Well, if you wish to balance your ledger, I've got some work you could take on. Excuse me? My men seem to have got into the habit of brawling with expulsionists in port. I want it stopped. If we fought them openly, our standing with your great nation would suffer. But their need 
to be consequences. What do you say? Would you kindly give a taste of justice to those expulsionist thugs for me? And listen, I know you people are warriors and all, but I don't want a bloodbath. Hmm. <laughs> Seems That's like a reasonable man. Interest. Should there be casualties, I fear we shall become even more unwelcome. Do what you can, you hear? Do we nod? So, peace negotiations. So let's go to the dock. So yeah, these are no-kill missions, so you can either fight unarmed, or you can fight with wooden equipment, and it doesn't lead to a uh, casualty. So our wooden sword's equipped. We are at the dock. We are tearing the place apart, <laughs> running into things. Break and stuff. Um, just in case we need to no knock people out. No, we have to talk to them you just see what you the legs oh, on your mouth this one you're one of their pals never seen him what do you want hmm These who started this squabble the local fishermen and we won't stand for it not against our people you filthy liar we were just teaching them about the good old us of a you're just looking for excuses to pounce on us <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> Neither side is innocent. No, control your temper. <laughs> Wise words, pal. Yeah, you got off easy, you sons of bitches. Bet you're all thanking your lucky stars right now. Mm -hmm. You've got some nerve. Time to put you out of your misery! Oh dear. 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 Oh Oh dear. 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 Oh Happy days. Apologies for the trouble my men caused. And you? <sighs> Things have finally cooled down. You know, all them foreigners did was ask about our whaling techniques. Oh, so they were innocent. Even said they'd show us some of their grappling moves in return. They weren't causing any trouble to no one. That's like he says. We were just showing him some wrestling moves. Thanks for clearing that up. Hmm. My pleasure. By the by, I don't know how much good it will do to tell you, but... I heard a fellow Snitch. talking with one of those expulsionist samurai. Something about persuading the court big shots to stop trading with other countries. Dun, dun, dun. And if that happens, those foreigners will have to leave, won't they? It just doesn't sit right with me. Happy days. So then we just go back to the Grand Villa and we track down Mr. Matthew Perry. Ah. See what the crack Seems is. you took care of that trouble between my men and the expulsionists. I did indeed. You did well to bring them to heel without anyone getting killed. Okay, so they didn't well, die. Well, either way, that's one less worry for now. Tell him about the scheme. Hmm. Your word is proof enough for me. Oh, we're besties already. This is the evidence I've been waiting for. That very official will be at the British Trading House, where I'm planning to pay a call and present him with a gift. I want you to carry the gift and take the opportunity to sniff around. And if they're really plotting something, kill them. Ooh, Am I okay. clear? 
If you've got something to say, now's the time. Why don't you do it yourself? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> if I got my hands dirty, relations between our countries would be as good as over. Now, mm -hmm. if you're clear on the particulars, you'd best get started. So I'm a hired goon. Understood. Very well. I am confident your efforts won't be for nothing. The gift I'm talking about needs to be picked up from English House Number One. Once you've got it, take it to the British Trading House. Don't let me down. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, so we get the bond with him already. Happy days, let's bring him to the Pleasure District. Test of friendship, right. So, oh, teleport over to the nice district where all the fancy schmancy houses are and you will find where the expulsionists are that you need to get rid of. There's a few hiding in the hedges. Um, I'm not sure we need to be too quiet about Oh, that yeah, didn't actually one-shot him as I thought I would. They're not aggro, so we're just going to deal with these two boyos. Oh, that's the first time you've ever got managed to do that. Other do not men do not notice the um, raging inferno in the flower bed. Okay. Deadly. Finally, I can breathe again. Whew. That was a little <laughs> scary. Thanks for chasing those guys off. They think every Westerner's an enemy. Tell me, are they all such good for nothings? Excuse me. Who do you think you're talking to? Oh, right, then I'll get to business. Kentucky bourbon, the finest you can find. It's That's what we there, killed so like four or five men for bourbon. You, uh, you better drink that stuff neat, though, okay? Nothing to lose in here, is there? No, we got the bourbon, though. Deliver the gift to the British Trading House. Oh, it's not actually that far away. It's over here. There is a cat we will try to ignore. What's this? Uh, okay. Hachi, the, the Xenophobe. You so we boss fight to fight. Seems things have calmed down somewhat. <laughs> Just a bit. You're welcome. You You're welcome. Last trouble, I suppose. Just a little bit. 
had some trouble with an assassin. Is that the target behind you? Quiet, they'll hear you. <laughs> it seems the British have already taken care of him. All it took was a certain golden cake and some scotch. Well, anyway, it saved us the trouble of having to do something ourselves. Forgive the delay, hmm. but allow me to present you with some of our nation's finest bourbon whiskey. I hope you enjoy it. So, this is America's famous bourbon. This is welcome indeed. Relations between our great nations will remain amiable as long as I have anything to do the with it. The key to uh, diplomacy is alcohol. It seems negotiations will continue. I owe you my thanks. That's enough. You may consider your ledger balanced. That's right. You're off the hook. Mm. Happy days. Uh, good to hear. Sorry for all the trouble. In fact, I've actually prepared something special by way of thanks. Oh? Drop by the Grand Villa in Yokohama, won't you? See you around, Blade of the Veiled Edge. I suppose then we're back to the villa. But yes, we get like loads of stuff. You got the Commodore Saber, you got loads of different items, and we got a revolver, which we haven't had yet. Which I think is criminal, and we probably have missed it from another side quest. But we now have revolvers. Happy days. Thank you, Matthew Perry. Um, so yeah, we will we will be continuing on with his quest line in the next few videos. Um, but for now, that is it for this part. Um, give us a like, a comment, a subscribe if you enjoyed this walkthrough. And until then, I'm just glad we got rid of that scary mask, I'll be honest, lads. Um, cool uniform as well. Happy days. See you in the next one. Hello everyone and welcome to part 13 of my Rise of the Ronin gameplay walkthrough thingy Bob video series on Lucky 13. Or is it? Uh, the game's lots of fun. Uh, we're plowing through it. And for those who have missed on some of the previous videos, we are at the stage now, uh, the quest Cultural Exchange, where we are trailing Harris, who... We kind of flip-flop about whether we want to kill him or not. Um, it seems like we just want to investigate and see what the story is with his health. This guy likes him and wants our help in locating him to find out he's okay. Now, if you remember, Harris was seemingly working with our Blade twin, so we kind of have to see what the connection between those two are. Um, so yeah, we're just going to uh, accompany Fukuzawa um, through this seemingly stoic town. Um, but yeah, there seems to be an awful lot of disease and death around here. I don't like when uh, dialogue gets cut off halfway through, but we'll be quiet and let him... Really be Explain what the crack is. It is one thing to hate the West, but this is wanton violence. Why are those wretches so utterly repulsed by the unfamiliar? I'm afraid I must conclude that reason and understanding are far more present in Western society than in our own homeland. Hmm. So yeah, this guy. Because how uh, he's kind of like a Western sympathizer, and he's open to like them coming in and sharing technology and now culture and whatnot. Truly managed to flee the temple. He's probably still somewhere in this vicinity, don't you think? Doubtless, he is being pursued by expulsionist samurai. Though killing him would serve little purpose at this stage. So is so would keeping him alive, anyway, to be honest. We must find where the consul is hiding. Uh, yeah. Oh, very well. I meant to say, it. agreed. <laughs> Let's try that again. Either way, we must. Very good. Now I have no doubts that his pursuers will be in an agitated state. Absolutely. Let's have a good nose around and see if we can't find any clues as to Consul Harris's location. 
Okay, so... Wait, we only have Gonzo. <gasps> Damn. They can't join. Luma can't join, no. Is this, is this him falling out of love with us? Damn. Gonzo's so bad as well. I've just seen his stats there. Sure, look. This is Sukazawa, I think, is gonna accompany us as well. We just can't control him. Touch the banner. It is, we don't actually have to do that because it's automatically activated. But are they, are they enemies or tens people? Oh, they're enemies. Let's save our rifles. I think if we need them for something. Get wrecked! I love that. I unlock the like grapple execute, which is just as fun as it looks. Right, so we have five spots to check and two optional foes or two optional formidable foes so 80 meters to the left is the next one or we can just go we can kind of loop our way around i'd imagine we'll go down this way looting all the while We're gonna execute. Oh, there seems to be a fellow right in front of us, actually. <laughs> I was thinking, did they see that? But yeah, they did. So we did unlock that skill that we can do two executes, I think, in good succession. So. This guy, uh, you, know, you must just be a team leader, is it? It's not a formidable foe, I don't think. Oh, he is. Oh, in the different areas, I think. Splat. Take that. So we have one more foe. One more expulsion list to get rid of, and then we can get the Veil Banner. <laughs> Boom! Happy days. So that's number two done. And number three, so we're just clearing out this kind of weird shack place. There's seven enemies on point number three. Nothing too exciting except heads popping left, right and centre. A lovely wee chest that we're going to raid. Just a load of green items that we will vendor off. There's one more enemy around the place. And he's gone. We must not give up. That's number three. And on to four and five. So here we go, this is number four. Doesn't look like Harris is here. So there's just a lot of kind of ping ponging around different bases to see if you can find them. Two, we have four more to kill. This man here has a death wish. Here we go. Can't touch the banner yet until excuse me, the territory is finished. Poor Gonzo is stuck in the environment. Come on, Gonzo, we will we will herd you around the corner. So I think there we can open this. No, so there probably be a maid skirts in the grass. Yes. He did not want to be shot at. 
And then just one more enemy. There he is over there. Oh! Left him no damage. Not the tech and grapple. So yes, he's not in here, so we're going to just go and raise the banner, and then go to number five. So number five doesn't look to have many enemies outside it, if any, and there is a vendor, which makes me think there's going to be a big boss fight inside. It's like a Warren's nest of corridors here. Open. Baron Swordsman. Okay, he's like something out of the Renaissance here with this shield. So, Fukuzawa seems to know him, but clearly cannot say anything to stop this fight. <laughs> Back in the shield, it doesn't even catch enough. Come on, Gonzo. Okay, I'm getting my ass handed to me here. I'm not pretty. I need to ignite our sword and see if we can burn him. Ooh, we got him. He seems massive, isn't he? He's a giant. That's so cool. Okay, he's near death. Happy days. Let's see who this bozo is. I do not know who you are, but I will not allow you to lay a finger on him. Wait a second. You're Jules Brunet, the French officer. It's me, Yukichi Fukuzawa. I remember. We met at the Grand Villa. But what are you doing here? Mr. Sato asked me to come here to speak to the Consul. Is he to be found here? Fear not, Consul. They are friends. We've, we've, we've decided on that after that boss fight. Thank you. Where would I be without the French? What in the world? How are you still alive? I've had just about enough of your harassment. <laughs> Why would I believe that? Why indeed? <laughs> that is kind of... Hired you, but I guarantee I can pay double. I'll take the money. Oh, you mean that other bodyguard that couldn't kill you? <gasps> My blade twin. I suppose I did see the two of you having a chat. How about this? You take care of some scoundrels for me, and I'll tell you what, what is I with all these about. do me a favor and I'll give you information. We were attacked by a band of thugs and forced to flee the temple. Until they are dealt with, we are stuck here. There is no sense in fighting every last one of them. I propose that I join you and Fukuzawa and that we hunt down their leader. With him hmm. out of the picture, his underlings will mess At some point, we're probably going to be fighting against Katsura's men. And if 
nothing happens to me, I'll tell you everything I know about the samurai from the consulate. Just get your blade out and make him say no, no. <laughs> Look at me nodding. Great. Now to avoid attracting attention, let's leave one at a time. We'll regroup on the hill overlooking the temple. Okay. So the champs are camped f quite far up on the mountain, just overlooking this little temple. I just saw a most unsettling looking man entering the main hall. I am certain he is their leader. Well, are you all set to enter the temple? Uh, yeah, I'd imagine so. Good. Then we shall proceed under cover of darkness. Not very honorable of a samurai. But there is strength in numbers. So we have Jules Burnett. Let's see, can we take oh we can take Matthew Perry actually. So it really is a Western invasion. It's time. Happy to help out. <laughs> we'll just change to our medicine pills. Just always gonna happen to get that short wheel. Yeah, that, that double assassination is so good. Pop your head. And loot you. Up. None of them are formidable foes, which is unfortunate. So there's the main hall. I suppose we get rid of these boys first though. Missed the execute there. Just took a face full of fire. Pumping out the pill. I'm just gonna get flamed on again. Oh my goodness, they're kicking our ass. Get rid of the shield guy. Dear Lord, this fire on the floor. I love how I'm actually in the admirable gear. Fitting in with the theme of the mission. Jesus, my health. Mm. And then this guy here. to um, jump up and kick his arse. So we did find one formidable foe that has sadly died off camera. I couldn't find the second one so we're just gonna actually try and get into the main hall here. Um, unless the formidable foe was like on the roof but I don't think so. Seems to be an opening here. Yep. Gotta raise the banner. <laughs> and of course we have the old <laughs> salesman here. Oh sugar. What it's you your man. Get in my way. Genzu oh, Kusaka. So the fellow we fought at the dojo. Oh. This is where Things get nasty because we're going to be starting killing people we could have aligned with. Oh, 
Yeah. I do. Oof. Kind of is. I'm kind of getting trance. Yes, it kind of is. Kind of feel sad for him. Why are you working with the outsiders? But he was kind of a prick to us, so I'm looking for someone. Yeah. What do you know? I don't need lectures from you. <sighs> Haven't you heard? The first American consulate was in this village. Along with the outbreak of cholera. We should never have had dealings with foreigners. It endangers us all. This me and my me and my consulate outfit. <laughs> oh, we didn't kill him, he's just gonna leave. Damn, he's gonna tell everyone. Um there's usually a chest, but I can't actually see one in the room, so I'm gonna say at least say there isn't one nearby yet. Report to Harris. Alright, so Harris is going to tell us what the we need to know with our blade twin. And dispersed. Our plan worked. Very well then. About my curious bodyguard. They were captured in Yokohama by Commodore Perry some years ago. Oh, years? They were taken back to the United States and held in custody. Okay, come on, time timeline. When we realized they wanted to cooperate. What story have you been spinning oh, the them? Hell should I know? I just hired them to protect me. However, I did hear a great deal about Japan on our voyage over. Working for me was their mm. idea. I'm not such an imbecile to try to strong arm them. And thanks to that, we were able to conclude the Commerce Treaty. But then they up and vanished. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that sums up what I know. Any questions? Plenty. Years? I didn't know years passed. It seemed like a day or two. That mechanical arm was made in the United States. It can fire shells and steel wire. Quite the device, I must say. Well, it was the very day after we signed the treaty. Didn't even bother to collect their pay. Come to think of it, I heard the British might have also requested their services. Now, that will be all for the moment. Should you need to know any more, save it for another day. Fukuzawa, I am going to escort the Consul General to a safe location. Once things settle down, we'll make contact via the Grand Villa. Oh, again with the Grand Villa. <laughs> Y'all are obsessed with this Grand Village, or Village Villa. I think we made a good connection there. I look forward to learning more about the United States. I plan to continue my education there one day. Showing Yoshida could not realize his dream, but I fully intend to make it happen. Hmm. So he knows about him too. They're all interlinked and interwebbed. But it's just such a shame. Showing Yoshida is wanted for conspiracy against the Shogun. Which we kind of helped to set up, I, I think. Already been apprehended. Or at least we didn't help as now hard as we should have, maybe. Until next time.
Okay, so we have a double bond here. I wonder, are they separate or are they together? Oh, and a cutscene. So, how do you play? This must be the master then. Have I not made myself clear? The shogunate serves a purpose no longer. Probably not the best attitude to have when you're gagged and bound and to about to be executed. As one. It is they who must build this nation anew. What can the people possibly do? <laughs> Can't they believe we've aligned ourselves with him, Taka. What did you do to us? Fall to the foreigners. You wish to keep our country safe? Then the people must fall in line. So this is the nation you want. A land of purges and repression. Yeah, I kind of regret now siding with the enemy. Your insolence and insubordination are unforgivable. You must be punished by execution. Take him away! So unless we see him die, we might still be able to save him. Maybe. Oh dear. But yes, that is going to be part 13 of our walkthrough. If you enjoyed this, give us a like, a comment, a share, and I will see you in part 14 where we probably cause more panic and madness around Japan. Till next time. Hello everyone and welcome to my Rise of the Ronin walkthrough, part 14. We are with the baddies, or at least uh, what we the think are the baddies, because we haven't aligned ourselves all game with the this posse, the anti-shogunate crew. Um, but we do like Rima, so we are going to hear him out. And here our master showing um, where he is and if we can help him. This is Fumi. But uh, up until this stand. point we have kind of been helping with Taka to, execute her to keep the shogunate in power. Please help me save my brother. If we don't here. We've kind of been doing everything in our power to make sure he plan. dies. But we for some reason we still have the option that we can the help them. So kind of plan. imagine this is kind of one of those core storyline things that we need to do. They've been keeping their distance from Katsura, it seems. Hmm, so there is family drama. The problem is finding Shinsaku. Who knows where he's loitering? Shinsaku. I'd say there's a good chance he's in Chinatown. I'll go and look for him there. If you wouldn't mind searching for my husband. Hmm, okay, Fumi, you look to be quite capable of doing that on your own. I'm not, sure not yeah. To go alone. We're gonna Shinsaku have to tailor. Is associating with some unsavory sorts, I hear. <laughs> go after her and help her find Shinsaku. Leave Kensui to me. I'm counting on you. <sighs> me there, actually, in my American gear. Definitely not playing both or the three sides in this game. <laughs> oh lord. Right, so we have to tail Fumi and head to Chinatown. It's 400 meters away. She can really make haste, can't she? So we're just going to fast forward time and discover these bull boys not wanting us to find Fumi. We're just going to slice open their mouths. There we go. It says she's 30 meters away, so. Oh, she's in trouble. Who the hell are you? It's you. Come this way. All part of her plan, it would seem. You would have died, probably, Pat. You would have died. Sounded like Shinsako in the area. But then those thugs just surrounded me. Um, we're not going to give out to her. We should just say that it's reckless and you should leave. I think you're likely to find Shinsako up ahead. But I've heard he's been rather unruly of late. Hmm. I saw 
thought me being there might make him less likely to act up. But I fear I will just be a burden to you. Oh. Will you go to Shinsaku in my stead? Sure, why not? It's not like he's probably going to try and kill us now. Wait, you see. No. Now, uh, apologies. I keep I keep pressing the wrong thing there. The game is kind of weird when you like try and select the thing. You nearly need to do it twice. So. Thank you so much. Yeah. Please be careful. I'll be waiting at the Sakura Inn. So, we have a yet another bond, it would seem. I've already seen the point of these bonds, yet. But maybe they'll just like tell you maybe how you played the storyline. I'm not entirely sure. And um, So we have three allies to pick. We are not going to pick Gonzo. We will keep Matthew Perry and we'll bring Mr. Jules Burnett. So, they seem to be the strongest ones anyway. Um, and they're the only ones available, so... Don't Let's go, Westerners. So we've learned gestures for some reason. And one more head gone off. Bit of overkill on him, I'm not gonna lie, but it's the way we roll. Uh, nothing in these houses. I don't think, anyway. Oh, just more people to kill. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Let me just heal up. Recharge this man before he can fire that flame at me. There we go. We'll take your Adachi. There's a lot of people. Oh, we kind of sparked. Love it. Usually I never do be able to pull that off. Except only by accident. Go, happy days. So we're just gonna blow ourselves up just to be give the computer a chance. Don't forget to loot the other fellow below the ground. That was very atmospheric, wasn't it? Oh, this is a formidable foe. I was thinking, how is he taking so much damage? I'm still getting up. It is. Gonna raise the banner. A few people up here. Good rifle is good. I kind of missed the bow though. Oh, wow. <laughs> Loot him. I'm gonna try and there we go. The fellas in here. There we go. <laughs> Headshot. Fella in here as well. Come he wants to see what the crack is. A zoning bullet. 
and then off with your head. Okay, so nothing in that room. So we've got one of the formidable foes this time. So follow the sound of the shamisen. Don't know what that is. We're going to loot some feathers because why not? That's just where I just came from. Hmm, so after getting lost for quite a while, I realized that you just have to hop over here. And to we did kill that fella. And the fella in the middle, but yeah, it was just over here. <laughs> we have the trader there, which is always a telltale sign that there is going to be a troublesome boss. We did miss out on one formidable foe, so I'm not looking forward to this but I would imagine that this is Shinsaku um, a bit of a shame that the wife didn't come at this present moment in time because my lord he hits like a truck we'd be better heal ourselves This fella isn't exactly that strong, is he? Matthew Perry probably is a bit better. I don't know whether yeah, we're supposed to be able to get rid of these minions. He has low on energy, Matthew Perry. Medicine pill. There we go. The combos. You just revolver him. Slicin and dicing. Come on, lads. Was she even, was even controlling her and she got attacked like that? Oh! Come on, execute. Happy days. That kind of ended abruptly. Have you had enough fun? <laughs> well, I'm impressed. I guess you got more than just luck on your side. You came all this way to tell me that. And he's to be executed, right? Well, I'm kind of regretting making That's the effort. But are you sure you want to share that news with your enemies? I mean, you are walking for the Shogunate, aren't you? Oh, hence the cold exterior. If you're mistaken, what if I am? Hmm. That's not something I can overlook. We're not going to lie. <laughs> But what does that We've been found out. It would be a waste to kill you now. We are not done with each other, I'm afraid. So, Katsura and the others at the Sakura Inn, I'm sure. Come join us there. I'll buy you a drink. So we have a bond with him now. I think he's the gambler guy that we just have been blatantly avoiding doing quests with. Um, I will be honest. <laughs> now that the gang is all back together, let's meet up at the Sakura Inn. So you managed to round up Shinsaku? I knew you could do it! My husband arrived just a moment ago. I'm so relieved. Hmm. Katsura. 
should join us very soon. He's finding out all he can about my brother's situation. Once everyone's here, we'll come up with a plan to save Master Shoin. I'm sure you'll have some ideas. I have a few, but they're more for Taka more so than you guys. Understood. Just make sure you're back before Katsura gets here. Ah, Shinsaku seemed like he had more to discuss with you. Sounds like it could be interesting. Once everyone's here. That's what I want. The gang to is all back together. Master Shoin is set to be executed soon. I've heard from several of my sources, and believe it to be true. Hmm. I want everyone's ideas on what we should do. The prison walls are unshakable. But what of the people inside? What do you mean? What are you getting at? Some of the girls are persuadable. We can use the Kihetai to bring a few of them over to our side. Come on, bribes. Saku. Our priority is saving Master Shoin's life. We simply don't have time for such games. Hmm. Do you have any better ideas? Those pathetic officials are nothing to fear. I say we march in from the front. Genius plan, number one student. Will you two give it a rest? Roma, do you have any thoughts? Indeed I do. There's a watchtower right by the prison. We could just climb it, then go swoosh right in. Hmm. Swoosh. How does one swoosh exactly? What? You don't know how to swoosh? You know, have a swoop or take a glide. What do you think? Perhaps you can offer us an impartial opinion. Impartial. Hmm. Trying to sabotage his lads. But we might go with Roma because we want to improve his standing with us and I don't want him to leave our party. I knew it. I knew you'd get it. <laughs> and don't worry. I'll leave the swooshing up to you. Very well. Lovely. We will do as you suggest. All right then. Everyone, prepare yourselves. For the swooshing. So yeah, we've only unlocked the Katsura bond now, which is pretty bad, because I think you can still build relationships with people even if you don't side with them, so... LOL. We're acquainted. Uh, I know I sounded pretty confident back there, but... Can you really do it? Swoosh! <laughs> He's only checking now. Who knows? <laughs> I make this work somehow. Is that all you have to say? <sighs> well, can't go back now. So <laughs> Is your plan, you... genius? Right then, a great man finishes what he started, uh, and all that. Now head to that watchtower. Yes, sir. So that is it for part fourteen of our walkthrough. Uh, I presume the next video we are going to go to the watchtower to break out Master Sojin. Um, not that much of a distance away actually, but God knows what kind of side quests or things we will get involved in in the middle. Um, if you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, give us a comment, a like, a subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Hello everyone and welcome to part 15 of my Rise of the Ronin walkthrough, and we are breaking into prison. Uh, so if you have missed the last video, we are trying to track down the master himself who has been captive in this lovely prison. So we went with the suggestion of breaking into the prison via the watchtower by swooshing in, which is gliding. Uh, so we are trying to navigate our way over to the watchtower, uh, finding it very difficult. So there we are there. Now we are just going to go very quickly and re-equip and just check to see that we have everything. So we have a better helmet. And we have a better armor. I think that's everything. I keep I keep pressing the wrong thing, which is um, testament to my playthrough. 
So we costume change before we talk to this man here. The watchtower ladder is broken. Great. GG. That's that mission gone. I'd appreciate a little help. Oh, a little help. So we're gonna build a bridge or build a ladder. It would seem. I'm short of wood. What do I need to do? So we have to get thirty pieces of wood uh, and retrieve resinous wood. So is it just in the forest? I suppose. I'm going to be a bit difficult finding seven pieces. Yeah, it looks like we've exhausted... Oh, but it looks like there's stuff on the map. So yeah, I just killed these chaps, I think. These are like lumberjacks of some sort or some description. Or the wolves that are killing the lumberjacks. One wolfie down. So I'd say you need all the other nodes of it if you didn't collect a lot of wood but we did we had 20 something of it beforehand now we need to retrieve resinous wood so that is close by as well I presume that's just like some sort of special wood we need to join up to make the ladder i think it's in there is it Hello, sir. Have you got any resinous wood? Okay. And off with your head. Better loot you. Get some iron ore. And we got resinous wood. Happy days. Back to the watchtower. So we're just gonna plop this wood to your man. Thanks, this is just what I need. Um, so, report to Fumi. Don't know why we have to report to Fumi. We fixed the... We fixed the ladder. We should just get on with it, but... She wants an update, I suppose. Maybe it'll give time for us to, um... For your man to fix the bridge. <laughs> the game will load the bridge. Or the, the ladder. Right, so we're just going to go around this desolate area. Looking for Miss Fumi. Who is 80 metres away. Here she is there. Probably not a safe place for you, Fumi, if I'm going to be honest. Sorry to interrupt. And you were so interrupting. about my brother. I had to come. I haven't seen anyone coming or going. That means he is still in there. Imagine if we did break in and he was gone or I like dead. So yeah, I suppose this gives pretext that, that he is there. Right in. Whatever mm. that entails. Swoosh, <laughs> yeah. Are you all set? Yes, let's go. That's great. We were we would have already been finished, Fumi, if you didn't fucking show up and distract us all. Done. Have you spoken to my husband? Genzu is liable to rush in there by himself at the last moment. Wait, I thought Shinsaku was her away, husband. The sentence will be carried out and all will be in vain. Please, do all you can to save my brother. Meh, I'll try. I'm kind of on the shogunate side, uh, Fumi, if you didn't realise. Right, so... We know this screen all too well. Select allies and we'll see who it is we have to work with. Oh, where everyone is basically... We'll go with Katsura just because chances are we probably won't be able to use him later on. He's kind of well-rounded, I think. All right, let's get swooshing. He sounds a bit different. Kaka I'm going to the roof. <laughs> I heard they broke something on the way, so look at me! I flew like a bird! He sounds very different. Like a different voice actor. Maybe he's just genuinely 
thrilled to be risking his life in this manner. GG, easy! We'll see what Katsura is like. Okay, not great. I do not like this fight style at all. He's very slow. And getting pegged with flames. Cool to execute though, I must say. Jesus, he's getting his ass handed to him. And he's dead. Hmm. Suppose we'll spend a pill on you. Even the way he runs around is hilarious. Oh, like, like, an, like a ninja now. Naruto. Right, let us talk to... This person. Shoin Yoshida, the new arrival? He was here, but they took him off somewhere. It seems the guards had it in for him. <laughs> seems like we're interviewing the entire jail at this point. I could just swipe that key. I could rip myself out. But the guards won't budge from where they're stationed. Hmm. What's that? Oh, they're in a building on the other side of the grounds. One well, act. That sounds like a French accent to me. <laughs> right, so we have three formidable foes that we can go obtain the prison complex key. Okay, so the prison is just a series of gardens with like little samurai that don't really cause much fuss. So we're going to slow, or not slowly, we're going to quickly go through it. I think we have to hop on the wall here, onto the roofs. Your man's got eagle sight. Kaka! I probably could have executed him if we planned that jump a little bit better. We can still execute him like that. People throwing fireballs. Okay, Rome is on the wall. Roma, climb over. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Sorry for the trouble. Oh jeez. There we go. Bingo. We got the prison gate key. Um, our third party has decided to join us. <laughs> um, one more enemy and then we can actually raise the banner. So this guy here. I love how they just peg the lanterns at us. Like, oh, I need to apologise for being crap. Clean the blood. Gonna raise the banner. Head to the main gate of the prison complex. So it's only a, a few meters away. But how do we get up there? Shin on cash, that's the question. Is there a way? Oh, here we go. We can just grapple up on the roof and then fly. Whoop! Open the prison gate key. I'm gonna raise the banner again. I'm gonna open the door. Master, are you in here? No, you're not. There is a door here though. I presume we just go through it. And she's locked. And I would imagine this skinny legend has the key. Dear Lord. 
we didn't have one of the formidable foes defeated, so this guy is going to be a little bit more challenging. Yeah, because my head's just been decapitated off me. So we threw those little gourds. I think that they're like oil or something. We just have to ignite it. But before we do that... There we go, we've ignited. I don't even know if that really does much. I think we're going to be using our pills. Yep. We threw away his stick. It was, we've got him in the red, which is a welcome sign. And for more oil, pistol him. Oh, yes, you, you can't just bark him, he's pretty gone. We got the prison cell key. I'm gonna open this down. I'm gonna get lost in the corner. And here we go. So this man better be happy that we saved him. But my inkling is going to say he's gonna be like, get the feck out. Alright, okay, so no cutscene yet. Are we Okay, we we move to open the door. He's he's that lazy, he's not rushing out. So yeah, I'm gonna i I'm gonna edge bed and say he's go away. You don't look like a god. Ah, oh, if it isn't Ryoma. Come on, Ryoma. I expect you have risked your life to be here, but I am afraid you must leave. Bingo! Your sister is waiting. What's that? You mean Fumi's here? It matters not. Mm. Screw I Fumi. I cannot leave this place. I have done nothing wrong, you see. Were I to escape... It would be an admission of my guilt. Who cares? You can survive. Police, Master Shoei. Japan is changing. But we need you to show us what new form it should take. Listen to me, mm -hmm. Ryoma. It is you who will build this nation. Who will define its form for future generations. Listen to your heart. Walk the righteous path. You are capable of greatness. I have every faith that you will succeed. I wonder is there a way of actually saving him if we sided with the anti-shogunate from the from the get-go? How else can change endure? It is within any individual's power to envision our future and shape it. All they need do is discover their purpose, and my death just might help them decide. Do you see now? Death is my final task. But I have one request. Give this to Fumi. Uh, what's written in it? My vision for the fate of our nation. The future as I see it. May it be of service as you build a new Japan. The music is nice, isn't it? Very ambient. Uh, leave it to me. I am counting he literally could just come with us. This is such a silly way to die. Met in a different place and time. Hmm. I suppose we're leaving. We got some skills. I'm gonna pop down this convenient tunnel out. Getting past all these pesky cobwebs. Into the water. We will ascend. We will fall back into the water. <laughs> Good thing there's no time limit on this. 
The future of Japan is safe, ladies and gentlemen. The letter is soaked. <laughs> Suppose we give it to Fumi now. So my brother refused to leave his cell. I had a feeling he might have decided to sacrifice himself. You could have told us that before we sacrificed ourselves killing the He's entire prison guards. Him. Anyway. Um, oh, we can use Speechcraft Liar. He was worried about you. <laughs> about me? Oh, three little Even pluses on her relationship. He worries for others. Oh, happy days. That paid off. I could easily do that. We could fast travel. <laughs> these words far and wide. I have no doubt. Ah, yes. I brought a fresh kimono for my brother. Please take it. As a token of my gratitude. Give me money, no clothes. Part ways for now. I say as I do we love the cosmetics in this game. We're regrouping the Sakura in. Look after Fumi, you hear? Hmm. I must take my brother's letter. So Fumi can't fast travel it would seem. We have to run back to the city with her. Which is gonna be hard. Can't even get on a horse it would seem. Ah, because we're going to be ambushed on the way. Thank God she doesn't have a health bar. <coughs> Excuse me, thank God she doesn't have a health bar because uh, that would be dicey if she just started taking damage. So we just have to beat whoever shows up. There's always time to be collecting as we go. Get a wee bulb and some... Shabby workwear. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> some red knot. And we get some gauntlets. Oh my god, Fumi, come on! This way, silly Billy. <laughs> Just give me the letter. Come on, there we can get. Maybe we finish it. Oh, cutscene. Give me the ladder. It looks like he snapped my neck, but I don't I don't think the game's gonna end here, is it? Game over. Well that was intense. R.I.P. Fumi. Fumi gone. Oh and we're back, we're back in the room. 
head to the Sakura Inn. With Fumi gone, can we fast travel? Yes. <laughs> Damn. It's gonna be awkward. Be like, hey lads, she's gone. Did we really need what Fumi though? I mean, let's We've be honest. What kept you? Mm. <laughs> you could lie, Fumi isn't here. Damn it! Curse those Shogunate dogs! You were supposed to protect her! Excuse you! A plan to split up and avoid attention has backfired. If they'd wanted to kill you, they would have. But here you are. I'm a spy. Did they say anything? <laughs> yeah, we'll say about the interfering with the purge. Meaning if you'd put up a fight, they would have killed Fumi. No wonder they call him the Blue Demon. Master Shoin is being transported to the execution grounds in Edo. Most likely Fumi will be in Edo too. Come on, Edo. We won't achieve anything standing around here. We must go to Edo without delay. What are you going to do? Honestly, I'd really like if you were to join us in Edo. What do you think? Oh. Are you sure you want to leave this region? You will be able to return to it later. Oh. Good to hear. Let's do this. Okay. There's a new region. Actually, so the map is massive. The original map is massive, so don't tell me this is a brand new... ...himself. On your feet. <laughs> Mr. Shogun. Jesus. You're up next. Thank you. Hmm. Move out of the way. Something gonna happen in the meantime. The time has come. Rise as one. Oh dear, I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> that was well done though. The transition. I kind of feel bad for siding with the Taka now. My makeup is beat on. No running on that face. <laughs> so I wonder then do we just go back to the normal place or is he to a brand new region? He was a stubborn fool that could have survived. Jesus, you could be awfully mean to him, couldn't you? He was ready for his fate, faced it head on. We could stand to be more like him. This is no time to sit around weeping. Katsura, Shinzaku, Genzoi. His actions have inspired them all. Can't wait to sabotage them. Besides, <laughs> by dying. Master Shoin passed something on to us. What exactly that is, well, I can't say for sure. All I know is that I have to do all I can to forge a new Japan. Now, let's go and join Katsura and the others. Seems they're lying Saihoji low in the base Temple. Of Saihoji There's a ring to it, doesn't it? Head to Saihoji Temple with Ryoma. 
We'll have to be careful. Edo is the Shogunate's stronghold. The Red Demon has eyes everywhere. You forget that so I am the Red Demon's <coughs> secret friend. So let's just see actually the map. So yeah, we're in a brand new territory. It's huge. Well, huge-ish. It's this way. Let me just destroy a few boxes on the way. Katsura and the others will have a hard time searching for Fumi. There's little enough to go by without the added hindrance. With Master Shoin gone, this might spell the end for them. Edo. Truth be told, I was counting on Master Shoin to be here. I thought that with him, oh, wrong turn on my part. really stood a chance. But now I see that leaving my fate Jesus. in someone else's hands is foolish. My future begins and ends with me. So Rayoma is going to become the new come. leader, I'd imagine. Rise as one. I will take Master Show his last words with me as long as I live. What a terrible sight! Jesus, is there a plague so or something? Struck down by cholera. Let me just Saturn's pick these plants in the wood <laughs> that certainly aren't It'll infected. A shadow of the bright and bustling place I once knew. Yeah, the, the environment's pretty gorgeous. Can't leave isn't things it? as they are. Something. Saihoji Temple is a secret meeting place for Chosho retainers. A special signal is required to enter. I'll teach it to you. Watch. Hmm. This way. Gesture. Okay, so we can do gestures. This is the first time I've ever done this in the game. Pay respects. We'll just pay respects to these graves. And we will gesture. Hold! Those entering the temple must perform the special signal. Remember what I just taught you. Give it a go. Come on! I did. And do it again. He just Arena. copied me. <laughs> we could just hop the wall, lads. Ah, the rains finally let up. They say no rain lasts forever, you know. Let me just take flight. Presume we're going to this wee hot. Dun, 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 dun. The three I'm amigos. By that look on your face, that you haven't found Fumi yet. Pardon me. Hmm? Taka, how'd she get by the the guards? <gasps> Taka. Oh. Fumi, <gasps> you're alive. <sighs> Hey, random. Now there's nothing to hold us back. But I'm not sure I understand. I'm sure there is much you wish to know. But please, save your questions. There is news of great import I must convey to you. <laughs> this is random. <laughs> She's the enemy. <laughs> An uprising by the Satsuma clan is imminent. Should you join forces with them and succeed, you will surely be able to clip the Shogunate's wings. Perhaps ending this purge you once and for all. Oh, maybe she's like... Maybe she's turned? Hmm, you're right. We need to be a part of this. The Satsuma clan is every bit as powerful as the Choshu. This is a godsend. More allies? The Satsuma are obsessed with all things Western. They cannot be trusted. Joining forces with them is folly. Hmm. Listen to me, Genzui. I want you to decide. 
Hmm? As Master Shoin's favorite student, it is you who is heir to his vision. No, I Uma. vow to help you in any way that I can. Hmm. Your time has come. Rise as one. Master, I will listen to my heart and walk the path we believed in. Let us join the Satsuma. <laughs> that was a quick epiphany. To correct Japan's course, we must put our petty differences aside and embrace what we share. What say you? Do I have your support? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please come and see me later in Yoshiwara. I wish to speak to you alone. Oh, mysterious Taka. She's probably still working for the Shogunate. Wait, you see, this will all be a cover ploy to like get rid of everyone. Oh, here, lads. So, that has been part 15 of our Rise of the Ronin walkthrough. Um, we've basically finished the first region. Not all the quests, I must say, but we will get there. So we are now on to Edo. 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 Um, and I'm excited to see what way the story is going to develop. It seems like there's going to be a lot more lasting decisions and plot twists, depending on who you align with. Uh, thank you very much for watching all of these videos. I'm going to package them together into one big walkthrough eventually if my hard drive survives um, the rendering. But um, yeah, I can't wait to uh, tackle Edo in the next series of videos. Thanks very much for the support. Give us a like and a comment if you've enjoyed the walkthrough so far. Give us a comment on what you think of the game thus far. My samurai skills. Even just let me know how you're doing. Um, and I will catch you in the next one.